but like you know one guy talks you know, translate everyone like that yeah. <laughs> so you won't understand <laughs> how does it go one more time yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and, you know, his voice you know it's like come on so we were watching that so you hear english and this guy like <laughs> so it was nasty Not like good, yeah. a mess <laughs> it's a mess <laughs> Right, guys we're back episode 33 the cutler cast and we have the wolf man in the house dennis wolf thank you for coming out man we appreciate you thank you jay and uh Matt for inviting me i know it was last minute we kind of just uh <laughs> we've been talking about having you i just saw you in the gym the other night and i was right. like man i gotta get you on and you were like anytime so i said oh it's let's take advantage of this uh, well I'm, I'm here i'm in vegas so uh i'm staying here until next week wednesday so Almost every day. Thought. I see you more than I see any professional bodybuilder in Las Vegas because we often train at the same gym. And the funny thing is we only live a couple of minutes apart from each other. Uh, what is it, five minutes or so? Yeah, probably. I mean, it was kind of weird when, I, when you did your whole gym, you know, the wolf den is what you call it, right? I mean, we had that big celebration there, and it was like, man, I lived that close. Because you had moved. I remember you had lived in another house. We'll talk a little bit about that. But, I mean, you had migrated all the way from Germany and – Right, yeah, nice. it's uh, it's been uh, it's been a while, and um, I moved a couple times and uh, bought a couple homes and sold a couple homes as well. So, yeah, and uh, in that place where I have uh, my wolves den, uh, we bought it two years ago during the pandemic. So, can you imagine that stress, that yeah, bullshit with with signing uh, the documents in the car? So the lady has to cap, uh, come out. And we were sitting in the car signing the documents, you know. <laughs> we couldn't breathe on each other. Right? Yeah, like, come on. Yeah, so it was the worst time, and uh, nobody was working 100%. So you, you, you were always on the phone. Uh, whatever went wrong, you were on the phone. So it's just crazy. Yeah, yeah I mean, nice, nice place. You have a cul-de-sac there, and you got your gym set up, and we'll talk a little bit about that. But um, I want to kind of go back because everyone knows the Dennis Wolf that we saw on the Olympia stage you know, vying for the title, and uh, you were one of the biggest guys. Um, I remember you know, when you came on the scene in 2007, we had some great comparisons <laughs> there. And uh, But tell, take me back a little bit to your background. Where where were you born and, uh, like, where were you raised? I know everyone assumes you're German, which isn't – you're not full not German. That's 100% correct, yeah. yes. Um, I was born in uh, Soviet Union, uh, not even in Russia. So it was um, – uh, Russia or Soviet Union had like 15 uh, and then later 16 uh, separate uh, states, like mm -hmm. in the United States, but united. So that's why it's called you know, um, uh, USSR. Soviet Union. Yeah. yeah. So, and uh, it was Kyrgyzstan, uh, very close to Kazakhstan and China. So, uh, far away from here, right? So, yeah, and uh, my mother is German, my, my dad is Russian. Okay. And, um, yeah, it. Uh, you know, my mom was moving from the Siberian area with the parents uh, to Kyrgyzstan, and I think my dad met my mom's brother at the military. So that's why he came to Kyrgyzstan and, uh, you know, met my mom, my mother, you know. So pretty, pretty uh, amazing story, but uh, yeah. Uh, you I'm were born German. there? Um, I was born in uh, Kyrgyzstan. And when did you actually migrate to Germany? Um, we are, you know, the first opportunity uh, came up in um, 1980. So I was at the time two years old. Mm -hmm. But my dad, you know, wasn't happy to, you know, move to another country and uh, to start from, from zero, you know. And at that time, uh, the Soviet Union was just, yeah, I mean, good living. Um, you were, uh, yeah, you, you were fully under uh, government, um, what is it? Control. Control, yeah. not, but also you had everything. Um, doesn't matter was it um, a vacation or um, kindergarten, anything else or medicine, it was free. So if you were working at some factory or whatever, you got like two, three weeks a year, um, you know, fully paid vacation. from, from uh, the government. So. 
it was good and bad. So it always um, an opinion how you look at it. Yeah, but at the end, when it started like close to like to the end of the eighties, when um, the Soviet Union started kind of to you know break up, um, the inflation went up and all that. Then of course we had nothing almost to eat or um, not everything we wanted. You know, so there was always like normal uh, um, stuff like bread and milk and all that stuff, you know, but not like, uh, you know, in, in the Western world, you know, no bananas and shit like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, I didn't, I didn't know he was, I didn't know he was born in Russia. So we were in Germany. This is me and Sean. Well, it's not Logan Russia, there. really. But, well, right. USSR. Yeah, yeah. USSR. So Sean and I were in Germany years ago, and there was a Russian bodybuilder there. And you were talking to him, and I'm like, <laughs> this guy doesn't know <laughs> a word of English. He knows nothing. And I'm like, how are you talking to him? I'm like, he's like, I'm speaking Russian to him. I'm like, how do you know Russian? <laughs> he's like, I'm. And then you I remember we I had, had no clue. We I had we this German. discussion a lot because, <laughs> you know, the thing is like, well, who's the best German bodybuilder, right? And like, you know, obviously, you're from you. People consider you the German guy, right? Yeah. You know, that's that's a weird thing. Yeah. Um, you know, that's like you know, I was born in Soviet Union. Then I moved to uh, Russia. I'll talk um, talk later about it. And now, um, uh, then to Germany. Now I live here. I don't even know how to feel like. Where am I? Let me right? ask you a question. So like, let what me, the hell? Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Honestly, just you know, the Olympia well, says representing what country? What did you put as your representation? Germany. Okay. Yeah. Look, I mean, so I understand. I was why. Um, like 13 years old when we moved to um, Germany, but before that, we moved from Kyrgyzstan to uh, Siberia. So okay. We lived there for two years, and then we we, we um, get another opportunity to move to Germany because it is not like most people do it now. Just uh, you know, move to a country and uh, kind of pretend. Um, you're, you're, you're um, like, uh, what is it? They, they search for that. So if you're politically, uh, um, um, so if you, if you have an, another political opinion in, in your country, uh, you're kind of in danger. So that's what I put out right now to stay in some, you know, countries. Yeah. But it's, it's not what we did. So we were applying for the total um, re- um, what is it? Re in reinstate yeah. into the country like uh, like like uh, real Germans who moved three hundred years ago to Russia, you know, to kind of you know like like in America, uh, two hundred years ago people came here to you know develop a little bit of business and new land and so and back then the um, uh, Katarina. She gave the opportunity for the Germans, like farmers, doctors, uh, lawyers, whatever, like uh, to kind of bring, um, yeah, the, 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 the Russian culture a little bit up a little bit, you know, so. And they got uh, uh, own uh, kind of country, so they lived there for many hundred years, like two or three hundred, I don't remember exactly, and never spoke even Russian. So, yeah, so this is... Um, so what, growing what, up, did you speak German and Russian, or since you obviously um, your mom is no German, uh, um, right? in Russia or Soviet Union, Russia, uh, we were speaking Russian, of course. But uh, because we knew we we're gonna move to uh, Germany soon, my grandma were um, yeah, were not not like forcing us, but some yeah, some kind of to learn German every day. So, but I didn't understand shit. <laughs> was it was, I was going to say, was it difficult? Because ever since I've known you, I mean, you spoke great English, and I noticed that about Germans is everyone seems to know English there. It's um, it's yeah, very I mean, common now because right? in Germany you you learn in the school um, English, right, and and uh, French in the higher schools a little bit, so you can choose. But it wasn't and like that, you know. When I first went to FIBO in like ninety uh, eight. <laughs> It wasn't like that. There was a lot of people that just. But it's still like that. It's really, like there's that. still many that don't yeah, learn. I, mean, I remember even like two, three years ago uh, when I was doing a lot of you know English on Instagram or or even YouTube. Uh, some people still complain, you know, oh, you're German. Can you talk German? Like you know, but that, <laughs> those people, um, these people don't understand that uh, the world speak English, you know, and uh, most people understand English, or it is. Um, very easy to translate all of it. You know, it's it's uh, 
I, I think compared to German and, and Russian languages, it's most easiest language for me. When you moved out, did you have siblings or? <laughs> yeah, uh, one brother. Okay. And um, the other one, the youngest, uh, was born in Germany. Then. Okay. I never seen uh, your siblings. They ever come over to your sh- events? Or uh, no, no, no. Uh, my, my brother um, visiting my my Dennis Wolf classics. Okay, uh, you know already, uh, you know did it twice. He supports that. Um, I'm I'm really on the same. What is the wave right now with my brother? Mm-hmm. It wasn't being uh, it wasn't the same always the time like that. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I grew up with my younger brother, and we were like like twins, you know, so we did all of this crazy stuff. Uh, you cannot compare it to, you know, these days. Uh, you know, my parents were looking for us, you know, they couldn't find us, you know, to, to get us <laughs> home to <laughs> You're getting into bed or something. Then. Yeah, so, yeah, we, we were, uh, yeah, some bandits, I would say. Right. Bandits. 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 The wet yeah. bandits <laughs> <laughs> from Home Alone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Wow. What, so what got you, at what point did you did you play sports in school did you like what got you into like working out yeah uh, back in the Soviet Union in Kyrgyzstan I was playing basketball for I think two years um, before we moved uh, to uh, Russia then yeah so I was pretty good at that uh, and we were close to our um, uh, championships mm-hmm. but then you know my parents took me out of school and uh, we went to uh, Siberia for two years then. Two years where, later. Like where in Siberia? Like, isn't Siberia like um, nothing? No, no, no. Siberia is, uh, <laughs> is a huge territory. So yeah, yeah. There's, uh, like, uh, Ural, then uh, Siberia. Uh, we were um, in uh, Kemerovo. Kemerovo or Novosibirsk. Uh, this is, like, central uh, western. Central like western. Chernobyl not super far from there? What? Chernobyl? Chernobyl. Oh, yeah. Cherno- no, Chernobyl is far away. It's, uh, oh. it's Ukraine. Chernobyl is in Ukraine. Okay. Yeah. Um, so... Um, we lived there for two years. Then we moved to Germany, and it was like uh, a new beginning for me. Um, wh- whatever I learned from my grandma, you know, in, uh, about this language, it was all not the same because they speak different. Different, yes. Yeah. Um, you know, Russian German <laughs> speak totally <laughs> different. No one uh, German. This you is so like you, no, yeah. no one uh, <laughs> understands that in Germany. You know, so like <laughs> what. <laughs> It's yeah, like yeah. Angie's Spanish. Yeah. You know, she speaks Puerto Rican Spanish. It's totally different. It's different. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like different. Mexicans yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. Yeah, Spaniards. Yeah, yeah. So you couldn't communicate? Uh, not really, but uh, it took not long. Uh, I, you know, I was pretty, pretty uh, uh, eager to learn, you know. So uh, the good thing is. Uh, but you're 13 <laughs> at this time, yeah, right? Yeah. So you're like almost in high school, right? Like you were. Eighth and ninth grade, or I was in seventh grade. Okay, seventh grade. Uh, I came to Germany and then went straight like after two weeks into a normal school. Yeah, so you know there was nothing, uh, no translator or whatever. And were you skinny at the time? Or? Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. So and then um, the good thing is what I took from Soviet Union is uh, this cool. Um, how you call it? Uh, program right um, they teach you a lot and they teach you more and you learn more so everything what was with uh, math all of that you're advanced I was advanced like okay. two, three years uh, so I, I so what grade so you w- you were in seventh when you left and you stayed in seventh there in Germany or um, no I was in the sixth grade um, because we were waiting so long for the uh, approval so okay. I traveled to Germany. I was in the school for uh, like half a year. So, you know, my, my dad said it doesn't make any sense to put you guys in the school when we are about to leave. Yeah. You know, so we had some time, you know, great just time. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my, bro- my brother, we, we did just <laughs> stupid things, you know, until it was time. So, but, but still, still, I went to the seventh grade and I was maybe another three months and then I moved to uh, the eighth grade, you know. So it wasn't much. But I was advanced uh, with important things like math, yeah. not German, of course. I mean, and when did you start iron bodybuilding? Um, bodybuilding, I was interested in bodybuilding since I was probably eight years old. Yeah, I was 12 when I started my book. Yeah. 
Who would you see? Who was um, someone that maybe you looked at? Arnold okay. uh, and um, oh, man, what was this guy? Like I was more Sylvester Stallone, God, John Claude Van Damme. Yeah, yeah, but that was my. Um, they were my favorites or, or okay. heroes when I start watching like American movies, you know. So, but before that, um, they would you know print it in a normal paper. Like yeah, no, the last Olympia show, you know. So I think it was uh, beginning of eighties, and there were I I don't remember the names because it's it's so long. Yeah. Um, but I was amazed how the hell Someone do they have like skin that. like this? Like that was that was <laughs> nasty and and amazing at the same time. Yeah. When I saw <laughs> Chris Dickerson in this book, it was like from the eighty. I want to say it was like 81 or maybe it was seventies or I forget when Dickerson won. I think he won in 82 or something, but I remember his calves like blew me away. And like, how does a man develop a set of calves like that? And I show my brother and my brother's like, why would you want to look like that? You know? <laughs> and I, that was my interest at 12. And it's kind of funny cause I didn't start till I was 18, but so you started noticing this at a young age. And I mean, what did you learn about it? Like what made you, be like, hey, I'm going to pick up weights and start training. Was it for ath athletics or? I think I think it was the look, of course, because uh, I mean, it's uh, for for because you were taller. Kid, you were taller too. Yeah, for a young kid, it's uh, it's uh, unbelievable uh, how yeah the body can look like or how the, these guys are looking on, on on the pictures, you know. So I didn't understand in the beginning, but then uh, I figured out, okay, this is bodybuilding. And this is this and that, so you you have to train for that. But some um, somehow we start uh, making the comparisons between Arnold and uh, Sylvester Stallone and Van Damme. So then it came up like you know how it's like stupid talk. Oh yeah, look, Van Damme and, and Stallone they they are not that big mm -hmm. as uh, Arnold, so Arnold must be taking steroids or yeah. shit like that. So that was back then. I was like eight, nine, ten. We were talking about stuff like yeah. this. And we had no idea what it is, uh, like steroids or, you know, we just probably heard it somewhere and just, you know, throw it in because, you know, it was like Van Damme was, was you know, good built, right? He had a good, yeah, he was cut, right? Yeah, uh, Stallone as well, right? So uh, my, my favorite movie at the time, Rocky IV or, same. or Rambo, uh, Rambo same. II. Same, you're yeah. a little younger than me though, so yeah, I started at 12, so you must have been... Or yeah, probably like this. Yeah, maybe. nine. It, but it, yeah. it um, <laughs> that's a, it's a funny uh, thing. Uh, back then in the Soviet Union, we had um, no 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 movie theaters where um, they would play you know, American run the, the American uh, movies. So what they did, the Russians, of course, <laughs> they uh, um, you know rented out a, a like a room, put some chairs in it. Uh, uh, what is it? Um, video or recorder what is it yeah like uh, a vhs yeah, yeah. and uh, put the, the cassettes in it and rented it out so it they, they were making money so that's where i was watching this um, uh, these movies yeah on, on vhs yeah and did you understand what they were saying yeah, yeah it was all translated? Uh, translated it was what is it you call his doctor right that yeah. or something but like you know one guy talks you know, translate everyone like that yeah. So you won't understand. <laughs> How does it go? One more time. Yeah. <laughs> like, his voice, you know, it's like, come on. So we were watching that. So you hear English and this guy, like, so it was nasty, Not like good, yeah. a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. Yeah. And, and, but then, um, that was the time where I probably saw the most movies um, which, which, yeah, um, impacted me. You know, with with all the superheroes at the time, you know, like I mean, if you watch Rocky Four, right? I mean, you just want to go. Guy, they, 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 both guys it. were ripped, and for me, there was like humans, like yeah, they looked on. crazy <laughs> big. But realizing that Rocky, was he was 154 in that movie. Yeah, like, yeah. you know that, right? <laughs> yeah. I knew he was. He, yeah, yeah, 154. He weighed for that film. Unbelievable, you know. I and was, we thought he was the biggest yeah, guy ever, and, yeah. and both those guys short. are smaller. Yeah, he, he and. Uh, but Van Dolph, Damme. yeah, but Dolph, Dolph is a big Dolph dude, is yeah. a tall guy. Um, yeah, but you you look sharp, man. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Well, remember, he was on steroids in the movie, so yeah. they were like, that was a reason, <laughs> was right? A bad so Russian, he was cheater. Yeah, yeah. He was <laughs> cheater. You know, more bad. So, were you, so were, you a, were you a fan of he or were you a fan of uh, Rocky? Because, I mean, he was Russian, so you kind of had a, like, a... Look, <laughs> I was... Uh, I was more to say. I, was, I was more a fan when I was... Uh, for who, uh, though? For who? Oh, of course... Drago, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> you're a traitor. You, you may be the only one that was rooting for Drago of anyone. Really? Yeah, because I mean, he likes the bad guy. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I had I had the same haircut uh, yeah. when I was 15 or so. <laughs> I crazy. think we all did. I remember my, my mother was doing that like for three hours, you know, yeah. with my dad. Oh he no, said, I want to look like Ivan Drago. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it was <laughs> like in the school I was always the Russian. You know, it's uh, I was blonde. You know, much yeah, blonder yeah, yeah. than I am right now. So it was really like, like a short. So yeah, almost. You know, so um, yeah, it was uh, it was pretty cool. Then. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> so what? So when did you? When did you first start? When did you? When was your first show? My first show was uh, 1999. What show was this? Uh, it was our Multi Power Cup. Uh, so like you know, like we a local show, a local show. I was a qualifier for another local show, and I did also, um, that show too. I finished uh, fourth uh, and second in novice. Uh, unfortunately, I was uh, planning to uh, compete in the uh, uh, heavyweight. <coughs> uh, no, back then it was just heavyweight, not no, no super weight, uh, heavyweight yet. Yeah. It was um, you know under what ninety kilos. And I came to the show, and I was weighing like 93, 94 kilos, I don't remember. And I was like, oh, damn. And the guy <laughs> was like, what? You want to you wanna, uh, class, you know, down? Yeah. He was like, you want to lose a leg or what? <laughs> so, yeah, so I competed in uh, heavyweight. I was fourth and second in the novice. And um, like two weeks later, the same, fourth, and didn't get the uh, qualification for the German uh, International, so we used to have German nationals in uh, um, in the beginning of the year and end of the year, uh, German uh, internationals. So uh, if you are from, let's say, uh, I don't know, Egypt or Pol uh, Poland, you can compete there. So tell me some of the former champions that won that title. <coughs> okay. Prior to you, like, because you we all look at guys like sometimes locally, mm -hmm. but if you're vying for the title, like. I know for me, like, no matter what level I was at, there were certain guys that, like, oh, that guy won that title or this guy. Was there anyone that you looked at and saying, okay, this is achievable because this guy won it? Um, look, um, I, I, I knew not much about uh, local uh, champs back then when I was starting, you know, um, training and competing. But then I saw all the um, guest stars uh, at the local shows. Who was that? That was Thomas Shoy. Um, that was, it, it's one of the... Or, Probably the best uh, amateur athlete uh, uh, from Germany, or German number one athlete. Um, he is like probably. Uh, I I hope he's not uh, mad at me if I'm not correct. Three or five time uh, world champion. Okay. So he was uh, um, guest posing since he was like 18 years old, years old, and even at the Olympian Munich. He was gas posing as a uh, junior. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, and what's his name? Uh, Thomas Shoy. So he's okay. still competing. It's uh, everybody knows him. I mean, he's uh, he's like in the sixties, right? right and he's now. still competing. He's still competing wow. and uh, looks looks amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and then another guy at that time he was young, blonde, and uh, his name was Matthias Herzog. Mm -hmm. I was so impressed. Seeing him uh, uh, doing the, the, the uh, guest appearance uh, at my first show, I was like, that, that is how I yeah. want to look like. And um, he was in the preparation for the uh, European Championships. No, World Championships, something like that. Yeah, because it was end of the year World Championships. And uh, I was just amazed. I mean, his structure, his uh, muscle density, fullness, uh, I mean, sharpness, everything was just on point. It was like uh, three or four weeks out. Mm -hmm. That was the, the best, you know, that you body had seen. structure I've seen yeah, yeah. Yeah, at the time. Even now, I, I met him a couple of times. He, he came here to Las Vegas, and I told him that. And he's like, he, he was couldn't he believe shocked? it. Yeah. yeah, he couldn't believe it. Isn't it amazing, <laughs> like, you make it to the level that 
people dream of. And when we show respect to people that we noticed along the way, I do, this happens to me all the time. And like, I followed you and they're like, Oh my gosh, like, dude, you're Mr. Olympia. Like, how, yeah. yeah. That's why I love to plug those people that, cause sometimes like I had a lot of local people that inspired me, but you competed there and you, you didn't win. No. You know, what was next? Next, it was a year uh, off season, and uh, a year later, I came and won everything. And this was like 01 or? Two thousand was uh, was two thousand. Okay, so a year later, so it was in two thousand. I won the uh, the local show. Uh, there was the, the qualifier for the German uh, nationals, uh, internationals. Then, and, and uh, well, I placed fourth at the uh, German uh, uh, internationals uh, because there were people like Boris Kleiner. Um, very very famous guy at the time. He won six months prior, um, um, like you know the, the 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 show, and was competing again because he was um, aiming for the pro card. Um, but uh, he didn't uh, win the overall title six uh, months prior, so he was uh, planning on doing it there. And uh, I think he, he didn't either. So they they will they will give him the pro cards. Mm -hmm. But he beat every one of us. And uh, there were like guys um, who were really massive, but I was like around 100 kilos. That's uh, what is it, 240. So at your height, still, yeah, yeah. So I was still pretty still, ripped, though, right? Because yeah, yeah. you always had great condition, lean, lean yeah. um, to the bone, but uh, right, you know, uh, I was still missing some muscle mass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and um, yeah, after that, I had some some. Um, yeah, some some uneven roads, you know, and um, did, yeah. <coughs> lost my job. I met my my wife. Uh, what year did you? Year. What did you did you meet her? What year was that? Uh, I I lost my job, and um, it was not usual that I'm going. Uh, I'm, you know, I was in, at the gym in the morning, so I'm like, okay, nothing to do. I went to to the gym uh, for coffee, <laughs> right? So <laughs> in the morning, and she was and there. Uh, she was there, like okay. So and then you kind of you know. Uh, Exchange the numbers and uh, yeah, that was it. What year was this? <coughs> two thousand one. Wow. Yeah. So, and then uh, I tried two thousand two um, to compete. Did another um, federation. So we don't uh, like to talk about that, do we? Well, <laughs> so and then I came back. <laughs> yeah, I came back in two thousand four. <laughs> I came back. In, I came back in two thousand four, <laughs> and. Uh, uh, won again the overall title at the uh, local show and then uh, at the uh, German um, uh, nationals. Yeah, yeah. I was second uh, to a guy who was full with Sinto. Like, uh, fucking obvious. You could see it. Nobody used Sinto. Was, it, was it political yeah. or? Uh, I don't know. I think so. But um, I, I also, today, if you look back, you always um, um, kind of see more as you you've seen at that time yeah. you know so now you're more um uh, you, you can you allow your the critiques probably and criticize yourself you know back then so i think yeah i probably could be a little bit drier that will be a winner easy yeah but then look he went then to the world championships got his ass kicked <laughs> this guy you know he was out of top 10 but a year later i won the german overall title went uh, to uh, six months later went to the um, uh, world championships qualifier won that went to china shanghai won there is uh, this the all drug overall. tested yes yeah wow uh, yeah, all drug tested uh the qualifier and uh the uh, world championships but mm -hmm. at the world championships uh you had to um they, they give you like uh what is it the bucket you pull a you know pull out a ball if you if it's white, if you're not tested. Yeah, it, it's good. If it's red, you you have to do the test. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so it's a random test. Yeah, yeah, random test. But uh, to qualify in Germany, everyone get tested. Yeah. Okay. So pro status. Right away, uh, I was so happy. Came back to Germany like two days later, and I uh, had already uh, a sponsorship offer in my email. Yeah. Who's your email. first sponsor? Nutrix. Yeah. I remember that Jens. Yeah, you remember him? Mm -hmm. yeah. Great guy, a really, really good guy. And I was like, "Yeah, for, for sure." And then, like, I texted, I, I wrote an email back. Yeah, I would like to meet. You know, just 
yeah. to talk. He's like, no, we can't meet. I'm, I'm in Miami. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, and then I, I was um, right away. I, you know, the, the offer was good. I, I said, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. Did you have but a gym at the time? No, no. I was, okay. I was before, before I um, turned pro, like a year before, I was kind of working on it to buy a, a gym from, from a friend back then mm -hmm. at the time, but uh, the paperwork was so bad, you know, and, and, and my, my uh, tax guy said, no good, <laughs> no, don't touch this. So, yeah. Yeah, but uh, at least, you had, so, at least you had someone around you with sense enough to say, "Don't touch it." Yeah, a lot that, of people get caught that up. That's what in happened bad here. Spots. I uh, I was in Germany uh, like in 2018, and I bought a gym from Germany online here. Really? <laughs> yeah, because I knew I have two weeks time to like you know yeah. say yeah you, know, you know I'm out. Came here and uh, the guy also the same lying 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 like yeah. come on I mean you want to sell it or you want to sell and get in trouble. Uh, in addition, right? Yeah, I don't get this, you know. So yeah, wow. <laughs> but you didn't have like super crazy gyms in Germany, did you? Or um, most of the gyms were equipped with Jumadi equipment. Okay, it was, it was but great. I remember, like, but they were small. You trained in a gym with like a low roof, and it was like this kind of right. Or yes, yeah, yeah, very. Um, I remember the videos. They were small. Um, then I started training in Dortmund. It was like a half an hour drive from my house. Um, it was a bigger. Uh, Gym, but the owner was um, head judge uh, from from um, uh, the, the the area where I'm from, you know. So and uh, his wife uh, were in powerlifting her whole life, uh, mm -hmm. like world champion, all that. So that was a bigger uh, place. Yeah, that was was great. Well, when was the first time you got to travel to the U.S. though? In two thousand and three, for. Pleasure or business? Um, I mean, I was invited uh, by um, Ed Connors. Or? No, no, no. Oh, okay, was, uh, before, prior, yeah, before Ed Connors. Uh, I was invited from uh, Doctor Reverend Brown the Third in Philadelphia. Um, so he had a show. He invited me and paid everything to do what guest pose or guest pose. Yeah, yeah. So what year was that? In uh, two thousand three. Okay. So and then uh, he was a reverend, and I asked him. I'm planning to marry my wife, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. It, you know, it's like yeah. So then we booked the flight. She came, <laughs> and we got married. Wow. In, in Delaware. Wow. I never knew yeah. that. Like, like, like that's never been in Delaware. Rich. In in Delaware. Okay. Most people get married in Las Vegas or yeah, so, yeah, yeah. or like Hawaii. <laughs> so he married you guys. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 And who was present at the time? Just you two. Uh yeah, uh, both of us and. Um, there were another guy, he was a bodybuilder in the gym. Him and uh, another lady, they came also to the to the wedding just, you know, to, to make it uh, official. So you got married in the States? Yes. Yeah. Pretty wild. Yeah. So how does that work with you being uh, a German citizen and you got married here? Did they did they honor it in Germany as a yeah, marriage? Yeah, so how it, does that work? Um, you, you need a uh, license. Uh, to get married here, so you yeah. have to go to uh, to the city and uh, you know apply for that. So first time we went to um, you know to do this application in Philadelphia, right? So, but there's one thing uh, I couldn't help translate for my wife because so of English? the security reasons. So I could have forced her to marry me, you know, things like that. So, oh, yeah, yeah. so I was, you know, I was okay with, with, it, with my English. I was understanding everything, but she could Didn't understand. speak English? Yeah, no. So, <laughs> and I was like <laughs> translating and she was like, no, you can't. <laughs> and then, and, <laughs> and then uh, the reverend like tried to talk to her in English, but slow so, so she understands, right? But it didn't work out. So they said, <laughs> no, we, we can do that because she, she, she doesn't understand. So it, if I translate, it, it's, uh, you know. It's, it's not valid. Yes. Because you could be she lying. Speaks, yes. She so, speaks good English now, though. Yes, yeah. But, you know, for the longest time, she was pretty quiet. Yeah. yeah. I noticed that. She was pretty quiet. So, But in the beginning, she was translating for me. But then like, okay. a year later, when I was starting, like, emailing and texting yeah. to, you know, United States uh, people, you know, so... Uh, uh, I was always learning. Um, so then, um, and the guy, <coughs> Reverend 
time. Brown, he called someone and uh, they, they uh, referred to someone else. He called in Delaware. And they said, yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah. You know, so we went to Delaware, half an hour. So you drove over. Yeah, yeah, yeah half an hour. Um, they gave us the license. Then um, we got married. And with that license, you go in Germany and, uh, you know, to change the status. Yeah. So it takes like uh, six months. So they, they, you know, put your name and change the name, all that. So all the illegal things. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I never liked this. I never... <laughs> I always thought you were married before you ever came to the States. Like, no, I, I, no. No yeah, I, I came, before I came to the States, but I got married in the States. Yeah, because you yeah. guys both got your citizenship, la was it Recently. last year? or Recently, right? To get a couple years ago. Uh, Do you remember? Big, 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 big um, achievement for you guys. Yeah. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, um, we were very proud because, I mean, it's uh, it, it takes... It takes a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah it does. It, it, it we know a lot long. of people that never do it, honestly. And it is a long way, you know, to, to get there, you know. So, But I kept my German uh, citizenship, but okay. um, the rules are here like that. So if you're applying for, you know, United States citizenship, if you get the passport, you know, the citizenship, American citizenship is one number one. So it trumps it, yeah. Yeah, so after that, it's, you're German. But I couldn't even keep my German uh, citizenship without applying for it. Wow. Yeah, so that's crazy. So it made it difficult. And then yeah. we both applied, me and my wife, we applied for that. I got, um, um, you know, um, I got through right away. And look at that. I'm not even a real uh, German-born German, right? Yeah. <laughs> so my wife had to kind of, um, you know, they were asking for two, three more things to prove that she is German or she has a reason to keep the German citizenship. And she is 100% German. So you <laughs> see, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I mean... Right? So where is so your Russian passport and all this? I never had one. Never had one. Okay. No, no. But you could probably get one if you wanted just yeah, because that's you were crazy. I naturally yeah, born. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can have three yeah. passports. That's I know a couple wild. people who do but, that. But uh, look, I mean, it, it's weird. I mean, um, um, if you live in a country, right, so you have to support it. If you don't like it, you, you have to leave, right? Yeah. So that's how I see it, you yeah. know. But nationality is a different thing. So that's what I said in the beginning. I don't know. Like exactly who I, you're a Soviet. I'd be like, uh, yeah. I mean, um, I grew up with um, you know um, um, my my father's family side in um, Soviet Union, yeah. so I got all that right. And, and then Germany. when I moved to uh, Germany, I had like more mother's side yeah. uh, the family. So I know uh, uh, both uh, uh, mentalities. That's a it's a it's a huge advantage for me because uh you know i understand both but if you grow up you or you you live your whole life in one country it is difficult to kind of yeah uh, change your thinking change everything uh you know um, what you are already used to you know yeah. and uh, like i said uh, back then there was everything a little bit different the school was different um your parenting was different than now i mean Look! Look at these kids right now. They 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 yelling at the parents. I want an iPhone. Hey, this is Christmas. I want a new iPhone. Shit like this, you know. Yeah. We were not even thinking about shit like this because yeah. we were happy without any anything. We were we, we had like yeah, almost everything what we wanted, right? But um, within reason. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. So and then I also think if you uh, grow up without having everything what you want. Right, like like you know all the uh, technology and uh, all that, so you kind of start using your brain, right, as a kid. So you you your development is different. So and I think that's what I took from from uh, Soviet Union. You you're kind of more um, on yourself. So I was with my brother, always kind of experimenting with some stuff, and and yeah, that's experience, you know. But mm -hmm. if you have everything, so you probably just sit like like the the kids today. Well, Online. And what were your other interests, though? I mean, bodybuilding was kind of becoming your life. Do were you consumed by the bodybuilding like agenda? Because it's like eat, sleep, train. You know, obviously, your wife does. She have she has a job at this time, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, 
Actually, I was, um, you know, I lost my job, and then I said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and it. And Nutrix sponsors you. <coughs> no, I, I, I lost my job before that. So okay. uh, and then I was like, uh, when I came back from uh, China with the title, so I, I turned pro officially, and then I signed up. Um, that was, for me, like like a job, like, like uh, you know, there was nothing more important than this. And my wife understood this. You know, Why so do you think you were so drawn to bodybuilding? I don't know, because... Wait, I, wait, listen, did you think you could make money at it, or were you uh, like, I just love it? Uh, I think in the beginning, I just loved that. I just loved that. And um, when when I understood that I have uh, I have the potential uh, to, to be, uh, you know, at the top. You know, I was not thinking about winning Olympia or so, but I was thinking just... None of us were. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was just thinking, yeah, kind of reach the goal. What what I remember from, you know, back in the days, I was looking at these pictures first time, you know, so I was kind of looking at that. And also, um, I was um, kind of not planning, but that was my, my, my dream to live from that. So I could train and, you know, do these things. But um, back then, I didn't understand what it takes, you know. like None of us did, yeah. <laughs> back then, you think, like, oh, if I get, like, 100 grand contract, I will move to United States and do well, that. Well, was that, that the goal? Was the, the goal to move to the U.S.? Like, does, um, was that a vis on your vision board? It was, it was a vision, yes, yeah, because... Um, you just thought that's where it happens, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, America was the only country where uh, the sport was so pushed. Like, did, you see, Gunter, was, did you see Gunter and yeah. these guys, obviously? He's, you know, you know, Gunter is uh, from the same area. Uh, well, he was from a farming. I thought he was yeah, yeah, up but, on a farm. Um, it's uh, like 20 minutes from that gym where I, you know, start training. Um, and, uh, yeah, my daughter lives in that city. Okay. So it's, it's not far, so... Uh, the, the parents were uh, farmers. Yeah, yeah. and um, he talks I about it a lot. Yeah, I, I remember they were kind of pushing that. You know, I mean, sponsoring his. But his, but uh, it was uh, but you probably looked at him and you're like, man, he developed a life over yeah. in the U.S. and yeah, and because everyone was talking about him. Yeah, mm -hmm. Gunther was here. Gunther was the same. Gunther was also young and he was you know uh, uh, looking forward to move to the United States, but. I, I heard all the stories uh, how difficult it was for Gunther. Uh, yeah, it wasn't to, easy. You know, yeah. I think he moved to Boston first or something, and then you know, and back then, so it was it was hard because, like like I said in the beginning, you think like if you get the contract, that's what I want, you know. No, but it's not it, you know. So then, <clears throat> it took some time uh, until I um, understood that competing is more important than you know just just having the contracts, mm -hmm. you know. So. It's, it's like you you develop uh, everything like your thinking your 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 plans your, your you know it, it just depends how it goes what what um, you're uh, reaching that you know in that time so and then you kind of push yourself further and further so I always had this this f always forward always forward so it didn't matter like I said when I uh, I lost my job I went to um, um, to the two club worked as security, right? You know, you were a bouncer, every, every bouncer, yeah. I, <laughs> I did that, but then also after a, a time, I thought, Look, man, I'm, I'm about to become professional bodybuilder. So, what happens if I get hurt here, you know? And then I kind of, you know, kind of stepped down a little bit, did less, less, less. So, and then it happened, you know, yeah. I turned pro, and uh, like I said, um, it was always on my mind, um, United States. States, but um, I went to LA first time when I was uh, visiting uh, Ed Connors. So Ed Connors hits you up what through a email, email or yeah, email. What's he say? Hey, you you, you deserve yeah. you need to be over here. I know the whole the yeah. whole deal because I got to <laughs> yeah, like yeah. you need uh, to be in California. Yes. This is where it's at. Come train at Gold's Gym, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. But look, he was he was uh, he kind, very very. Stayed at the house or um, he invited me and my wife. So, he doesn't yeah. usually invite the spouse yes, because, so because he's not sure about the relationships. Yes. So and um, my wife was like, "Yeah, this is this is a good sign because we heard some some, some things mm -hmm. about him." And uh, but I didn't give a fuck, you know. I mean, yeah. And yeah, he was he was polite. Everything was was great. I was like, "Yeah, I mean, I would like to see California, right?" So he invited us. 
we went to when was uh, this though do you remember 2004 okay i wasn't even german champion so it was right after i lost to this guy i told okay right? so and we went to uh man what is it uh palm desert oh he lived in palm springs at the time uh palm desert, yeah, palm desert. and he had you went to the gold's gym there um <clears throat> yes yes but it was a uh, like a long drive like yeah straight up um hey i love that place quiet uh, only the same as uh, all, Vegas, all the people, much, yeah. you know, there's no crazy shit going yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> and the weather was absolutely amazing. I remember he, he said like, ah, that house next to me, um, the owner is uh, Bill yeah, Cosby. Yeah. yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> but most of the wealthiest people in America live in Palm Springs, you know that, right? Yeah. yeah. Palm Springs, Palm Desert. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Palm Desert is a lot smaller, but it's it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's between, so did you get to go to Venice? Mountains. Did you get to go to Venice and... Did you uh, go to Universal Studios? Did you go no, to like no, the no, tourist no. Look, stuff? Um, we we went staying there, and then uh, he said, "Hey, let's go to Vegas." So we went. We flew to Vegas and drove back. So we went for three days. He wanted to show us. I and where did you stay in Vegas? Uh, in in the hotel. So next, the the, the small hotel uh, to the Mandalay Bay. Okay, yeah, the, yeah, the like hotel. The hotel. It's, yeah, so. it's something else. The Beautiful. Delano now. Yeah, yeah, Delano. Yeah, yeah. So he he was he explained to me that uh, um, um, that he is trying to show young bodybuilders how uh, or or how good it is or what you can reach how you can live here in the united states you know so he, he was not like uh, telling oh you have to do this or that he just showed us he, he kinda, surprised he didn't say oh jay cutler lives out here we should go visit him yeah he did he did we, we, we tried to, yeah, i think he didn't reach you or so i was away probably because i was traveling yeah, crazy yeah it was 2004 yeah. It was like, yeah, um, I, I tried to uh, mm -hmm. uh, reach Jay, but uh, no. And then we were in Las Vegas for three days, drove back. That was that was nice, yeah, like yeah. five hours or so. We drove back to, uh, uh, to the Palm Desert. And then the last three days before we left, we went to Venice. Yeah, so um, we, see? We, we had a um, hotel right in the beach. So we could like, you know, not, not the front view, but from the side. I was like, you know, up in five. And what I was, was that? I was like watching. I was watching the surfers. Like, damn, that's a life, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. For me, like uh, as a German, that was that was completely insane. That was wow. And then, of course, um, Venice and all that. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, absolutely insane. And then we, I think that was the time I, uh, I saw the, uh, I saw Dave first time. Oh yeah, yes. Max Muscle because yes. he owned the Max Muscle yes, then, yeah. and all that. My I think all my awards I, it, were there. I think it stuff. was with with Ed Connors when we uh, uh, went stop to by. Store. Yeah, 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 yeah. We stopped by. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna ask Dave about that actually. Ask me, but I, I don't remember 100. percent So uh, I bet he was there. No, I guarantee he lived at the store at that point. He was yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, every, yeah. I mean, we owned the store together. It was actually Jay Cutler's Max Muscle. We didn't. They didn't let us advertise it because it was. They said it was a conflict. Uh, because it would give more credit to that Max Muscle and it. They had so many Max Muscle stores. Oh, okay. So we wanted to title it Jay Cutler's Max Muscle, but they didn't let us do that. I don't know if you don't know. I remember. No, I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember that. That uh, you, you But who did you see that. at the Mecca? Did you see anyone and be like, wow, that guy's <laughs> really good? Or did you not? Not, not at the time because it was uh, afternoon or so. But we uh, met with Gunther. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, we went to Firehouse and uh, had a breakfast. Was he still big then? Or yeah. It was late. Because he, yeah, he, he was still yeah, competing, yeah. Yeah, he was in the prep. It was two thousand four, I think it was right after you you beat uh, Ronnie. Coleman. Yeah, well, he in oh two because I remember he was talking about that with with Ed. You well, know, oh three, <laughs> oh three, he was kind of it was like he he myself and and Ronnie Coleman were all supposed to possibly win, and then you know he had some issue and and then oh four, you know, it was I think he did pretty well at the contest, yeah, yeah, but I, think, uh, I don't remember exactly, but I remember the talk. You know, he was like, you, you was like ready to he go big, because right? yeah. yeah, he was, oh, he was 320 or something. Yeah. And he was uh, tall. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like yeah but he was, and like he was talking two. about like, oh, I, I call, I call Ronnie already. Are you ready? Asking him like, you know, are you ready to get beaten again? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that was fun. For me, I wasn't even close to being a professional. And was talking to, but you were you know, a professional. You were. No, no, no. You just that was 2004. Oh, okay. So you were still oh, second. Yeah, yeah. Time. Okay. Then 2006, I had a, um, uh, also, no, 2007, I went another time to Venice for a photo shoot for Nutrix. And, um, yeah, then I saw, um, like, legends, like, uh, uh, 
was it? Chris Cormier, was he there? No, 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 no. Uh, the trainer, my God. Car- Charles Glass. Yes, yeah. Glass. Charles Glass. He's still there. I was, he was there when yeah. we yeah, went yeah. and trained there. He came to ago. me and I said, ah, you look good, man. He, he was a famous Well, that was trainer, your come up then. year, really. I mean, yeah. you won the Keystone. I remember seeing it in the books, you know, and then all of a sudden, you know, you showed up at the Olympia, and obviously, you know, the fans wanted to see you pose down with me. I was Mr. Yeah. Olympia at the time, and yeah, yeah. I remember sharing the stage, and, you know, I didn't really pay much attention, to be honest. Like, hey, I probably I wouldn't they didn't, because they didn't compare us, like, in the top. Like, no. they never gave you that good call out. They gave me, like, uh, uh, in, in, in the beginning, uh, they put me, not, not the first call out, but I think the last call out, they put me uh, in the uh, comparison, like uh, sixth or so. Yeah. Melvin was in front of me, mm-hmm. and then uh, it was going back and forward. And the, 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 the most last comparison, I was out. So I thought, okay, uh, I, I mean, you, you always think, like, oh, where you're at. So I was like, I think six or seven, so I was yeah. happy already because my plan was of course, top, 10, uh, right? top 10, right? So because I finished... Uh, that was your first of, one, though, right? No, no, I finished uh, out of top 15 okay, the year, the year prior. I was in 2006. The year so, I won. Yeah. yeah. First right. year. Yes. Did we speak backstage? Yes. Yeah, yeah we did. We did, did. I, did, I invo- did I say, hey, congratulations or anything? No, or? no, no. Uh, you were I think we just... Uh, I was always yeah, nice to all the new guys No, backstage. no, no. He, he was... Uh, Jay was always uh, polite. I remember he uh, came up to me. I uh, was first time at the Arnold Classic Expo, uh, standing at the booth, working at the booth. For new tracks? New tracks. Or, yeah. Jay came up to me and like, hey, Dennis. He's like, well, you know me. Like, <laughs> you know, so. But, you know, he bought my DVD on yeah. uh, Jay to Z. <laughs> Like he ordered it, oh, and, I, and I used, yeah, I used to watch them all come through all the orders because that's when I was like handwriting all the labels. And I remember Kerry pulled it out, and she's like, "Dennis Wolf just ordered your video," <laughs> and I said, "Okay, just credit him back and let's send it to him." And I think I wrote you a note like, yeah, "Hey, yeah. I'm not charging yeah. you," but I was like, "Man, this is awesome because like when you're." competitors i mean i considered him a guy coming up at that time like i was like damn okay you bought the dvd you know? but you know who the star of j to the z was yeah <laughs> well, he, was, he was there i was, was there I, you, I was in your there. dvd too yeah you probably you don't from that city remember. athletic club yeah but you it's ambushed the, me yeah but it's the last one right yeah the last yeah, one yeah, yeah, but yeah. You know, when we we did a workout <laughs> in j to z and muscle beach i don't know if yeah. you remember yes this. i remember yeah, that he I was, was there yeah. he was there like he flew yeah. in he had an I had a music industry event. and he wasn't involved in the industry that, like yeah. fitness stuff then, i was about we to friends. ask you about this how long you're already you know yes i've been around it since 99 so i invited him because i was guest posing at lonnie teeper's show at the west coast classic and we get stuck in traffic yeah so we actually hung out before he was actually manager matt in uh, this industry uh, i was working in the and, music uh, industry yeah. no wait, that, dennis yeah. dennis did his and i remember he was like i need to film somewhere and i said well to come to city athletic club and he's like well, let me film there this was probably like I'll, five years six years yeah, ago yeah, yeah. It was the and then thing, yeah. you know i don't like being on what camera what was that called what video was that i uh, there was a thing is it was uh youtube uh, no no it was, oh, it no, was no, you had no, a full no, no, wait, picture a a documentary uh, that was the um, when you came to lost, my house, lost gains. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We came to my house. So, yes. so you lost know, games. you know, I don't like being on camera. Yeah, and so he walks in with a full camera crew <laughs> and puts it right in my face. I'm like, no, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's just. I'm sitting there talking to him. I remember I was eating a muffin, and I'm like, yeah, I remember that. But yeah. I, yeah. I already yeah. forgot for yeah, yeah. what uh, which which uh, that year would have been was, in 2016. 16. Yes, yeah. that was the year when I got injured, and um, you know. Canceled my, my, you know, uh, yep. I couldn't go to Olympics. Because I remember at that same time, Sean Roden was there, and that's when he was like, oh, you're not working with Phil anymore, and he put his arm around me. The day before, <laughs> and he's like, oh, let's talk. And then you came, and I filmed you at the same time. Yeah, great, man. <laughs> yeah, so so 07, you came on um, Best Olympia, probably a I mean, probably big memory for yeah. you because, yeah. like, you got noticed for the first time. People thought, like, damn, you should have been compared with me, and I won, and almost, you know, of course, people thought Victor should have won. It's my worst victory ever, but I was just disappointed. Well, you won. I, that's that's I, I won. the paper. I won, yeah, <laughs> but, but I mean, that's when people, are, like Dennis Wolf arrived, and I'm sure that boosted your confidence. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and then when did you actually move to Vegas? In 2010. Okay, so uh, you were still wild, but you were in California training – with Milos here and at his gym, right? I was uh, in 2007, uh, almost the, yeah, the whole so year. So you'd come almost, and train? I was uh, training the last two weeks um, before each show with, with 
Milos, yeah. Yeah, um, Keystone, like New York. Yeah. Then I, I, did, I did New York, then I did Keystone, and then I did uh, nothing, yeah. And then I came back for the Olympia 2007. And you, qual- you did that qualify you for the next year? Yes, yeah. Back then it was that, top, how, 10. top, Back okay, then top was 10. top 10. Yeah, I remember those. And things. I remember it was, I think, 2012, 2011, when, when uh, I received a call and then, you know, um, Robin was asking, like, what do you think about, uh, should we uh, lower the, you know, the, 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 the placing qualifications? qualifications yeah. yeah, and what do you think? I said top six, yeah. I mean, top six is a must. You know, so and then uh, it was top six. But you remember that year, 2011 or 2010, when we did together the uh, Shiru Classic? Yeah, that was uh, 11. Yeah, I was. I had a torn bicep. Fifth. Yeah, yeah, I was sixth or fifth uh, prior, and I was not qualified for the next year Olympia. So I was like, what? You know, yeah. <laughs> so what? <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, yeah, but uh, thank God I. I won. Um, uh, I got qualified yeah. in that. And, uh, yeah, 2012 was the same. I was uh, not that good. I was, I think, top four or so for Olympic qualification for next year. And then I won the Prague Pro, and that's why. I what do you, What do you think? Looking back now, it's a lot easier for us to look back at our careers, right? Um, and kind of pick apart like our progression. And I know you worked with many different. I, I hate to call them coaches, but like advisement, right? Um, you know, for me, I always had a condition issue. Like I always hit or miss because I either was holding water. And I remember, you know, I remember out of all the people, like I was, you know, when, when Carrie used to tell me, cause she would sit in the audience and watch the guys come out. And she always used to be like, remember I, she texted me, Dennis Wolf looks really good, you know? And, you know, you had the dominant, because you had the height, right? And you had the crazy shoulder Oops. width. You were, that, that was one thing. And I feel like you just needed to like get the, your lower back down because you had a little higher latch. And it was like you were a little taller, so need, the hamstrings needed to build built up. And then I saw you train in the gym. And, man, you would squat 500 pounds for, you know, up and down reps. And, like, it took you a minute, but it, you you found your rhythm with and the physique filled out. But... Along the way, it was just like a balancing act, trying to find the condition. And yeah. what do you think it was? What was your biggest challenge to dial your body? Um, was it the lack of having enough muscle so when you died it down, you didn't tear muscle off? Or, I mean, you, it took you a while to build that density. I think uh, over the years, you kind of get this experience and uh, figure out what's, what's going on, what, uh, what you're lacking on, what, what uh, needs to be improved. Uh, but I think this um, not being big enough was my issue. Um, so but you got bigger every year. Man. I know, I know. But I didn't felt like I didn't see it. You know, I, I I knew. I mean, I mean, I'm huge. You know, but I was like, if I get m- much drier than than I am right now, so I was afraid to look too 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 skinny. Not too skinny, but. Uh, you know, too flat or, you know, because of my height, you know. So that's why I, um, you know. Are you six I, 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 I tried with, with some people, you know, to work on that, mm-hmm. you know, maybe just to dial in perfectly. But then as soon as I felt like, you know, that doesn't make any sense because I know my body the best and I know now how to react. So and then um, from time to time I got more uh, – Experience with uh, experience, anyways, but uh, more confidence just to go full in and and do this and that. And uh, look, even um, back then when I was already in great condition, a week out, yeah, I had a cheat day, you know, things like that. How much food did you have to eat in preparation? Six to seven meals. Um, was it hard for you to eat as much? Yes, yes yeah. I know but, we spoke about this a lot. Yeah, but but um, as as um, as the show got closer. The appetite was kicking in, was kicking in because uh, I reduced the carbs, and uh, without carbs, it, it doesn't hold that long in, in, in the system. So, and um, then I felt the best, you know. So I don't have to kind of push it in me, you know. Just uh, you know, wait the time, and then uh, let, let, let's see it. But do you remember how last many two weeks? Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> um, the, the last two weeks, I was hungry every hour. Wow. Uh, 
Yeah, Milo said you set a record for carbohydrates. Yeah, that was insane. Uh, I think. In, uh, you remember the three number? Days, uh, five, I could have sworn you said like five thousand or 5, something. Five thousand like grams. That. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Five thousand. We carbs. were. You remember the 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 meetings? Uh, like there was always Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the meeting. Were, there was um, the Russian bodybuilder Sergey uh, Shelestin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know him, yeah, right? Yeah. So and he came to me and said, like, hey, uh, you know, uh, you have so many fans in Russia. So they. They send me a uh, like a list. Uh, I should ask you this and that and measure your bicep and leg and stuff. You know, I said like okay, and they couldn't believe that that I said it was what mostly at six p.m. or so the, the meeting, and at that time I ate thousand five hundred grams of carbs, and it was like what, how? Yeah, you you you, you miscalculated. I said no, I mean. I was pushing in me uh, the, the the carbs like crazy, so I mean there was Milos his uh, 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 program of course and uh, yeah I mean it worked. That's why I think <coughs> all the people who uh, trying to figure out all this insulin stuff oh it's the best and this and that. If you're young you know what to do you know you have somebody who is experienced in that and if you're young young body takes everything you know yeah. so and that works. But if you're over thirty. Insulin is Changes, the worst for yeah, you. It is, yeah. So, like, you know, everybody's asking me, oh, do you ever use that? You know, so, hey, in my prime time, no. Because I was eating so much, so it didn't make any sense for me to to, to have uh, my, my insulin, you know, increased, like, you know, and, uh, extra, right? So why should I do it? If I already eat so many carbs, my insulin works pretty good yeah. and i have like uh, how you call it like um, I, I fast have, metabolism yeah yeah metabolism but your insulin is always you know you're you're very sensitive yeah yeah to, it's yeah. always up you know so yeah like it doesn't make sense you know so that's why i uh, i stopped that uh, i just did it maybe one or two years that's it yeah wow you do like was it high levels yeah, but uh, I didn't. I didn't like that be, be because you have to. It was tricky. Feed you. you it was have tricky, to yeah. feed you. Uh, if you don't understand that, and you want eat enough or at the right time, um, you shouldn't do it at all because yeah. that's it's. it's uh, it will kill it's, you. It's, yes. Yeah. I mean, it, it's the stupidest thing you can do if you don't understand what you're doing. It's like in every everything in every as aspect in life. You know, if you don't understand this business, you're not you're not opening any business, right? Like in, in this direction. So I mean, right? So it's the same as this. Do you have Do you have a certain highlight in your pro career that you go back and remember the most? Like that was the moment. I think uh, Olympia '07. Yeah, yeah. That's still that was still. your that was your highlight. Yeah, my highlight um, because of a few things. Um, you know, uh, Albert Buzek. Yeah. Right. The judge. Um, yeah. No, he's a, he was a president of the okay. uh, uh, German IPB. For forever and uh, he used to judge best, the shows one though, of the you best know. friends yeah. from uh, Arnold Arnold yeah. yeah yeah so he helped him in the beginning he, he brought him to Munich uh, when he was like you know at the beginning so backstage uh, pre-judging 2007 Mr. Olympia he came up to me and said today you're gonna make your name I was like okay yeah Good. because I'm, 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 I'm a person who never takes it uh, too too deep, right? If, if somebody um, gives you compliments, I'm not like, oh, you know, but I understand that, I'm, I'm thankful, you know, but I'm kind of trying not to get it close. So, I, I, you know, I kind of kick it off right away, so I'm focused on my, th my, my, my thing, you know? So I think, okay. And then it was taking pictures. And then I came back from, uh, from the stage and uh, the Triple H was there. I was like, oh, that's Triple H. Like, hey, yeah. man, nice yeah. to meet you. I was like, no, man, it is nice to meet you. <laughs> like, what? You know, I mean, I never met him. I I, I, I knew he's a wrestling superstar, yeah. but those things are the highlight uh, in my life. Like, just the small things. Yeah. yeah. So I remember one time, I remember when you won the Arnold, you said you were surprised that Arnold spoke German to you. I remember you saying that. Yeah, because, um, like, back in the days, he wouldn't speak German. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, because we were talking uh, in like what at year, many what, shows uh, before. What show was this? The European Arnold or? Um, no, I won the the, uh, won the one Ohio. in Ohio. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. When I won, uh, won this one. 14, I think. But 
before that, we were like, you know, at the Arnold in Europe or uh, other shows, we were talking um, backstage in, uh, in German. You know, I was surprised, like, okay, he's, he's talking to me in German. He was asking, like, oh, where are you from? He's like, Germany. Yeah. He said, I know, but where exactly? <laughs> <laughs> where exactly? And uh, I said, there and there. And, uh, oh, is it, is it uh, where, where Ralph uh, comes from? Ralph Muller? Yeah. Uh, yeah. He said, yes, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, so he knew a little bit uh, about me already. So that's why I think he was, um, yeah, asking questions in German first thing. Yeah, that, yeah I, uh, I appreciate that. And uh, I think it's a pretty cool move because, uh, I mean, we in America, I mean, who the hell speaks German on stage? And, uh, you know, people will say, like, hey, but we don't, we don't understand. Was anything. that with the audience there and everything? Or no, no, I, I don't know. He didn't speak it on stage, but oh. like he was just talking to you. In no, German. no, he was, um, he was saying a couple of words on stage, and then uh-huh. uh, we, we, we were to back German, to, yeah. to uh, English. I just, I remember you saying that when you were like, he spoke German to me. Yeah, he yeah, spoke yeah. German to me, <laughs> <laughs> like it was because he doesn't speak German. To so people. was that another highlight for you? I mean, or placing third at the Olympia for the like, was that um, placing third at the Olympia? Yes, of course. Uh, I remember Jay. Uh, when I when I got the third place medal, he was right away like, "Man, no, dude, second, second, not third, second." I was in the show then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You were, yeah, yeah you that were. Your, uh, that was your comeback. Uh, yeah, from, the from last year. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, your last show. And uh, but well, you did better than I did in my comeback. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah. no, um, that was um, th- those words meant much more. Uh, to me than than anything you know at that time would probably mean to me you know because i felt like yeah that finally was still his best year finally top three and yeah i would say this is one of my best years and uh because uh, why i'm saying it because prejudging and finals i didn't change a bit i didn't sweat i didn't do anything that was just perfect everything was just on time yeah. on point and this is maybe this, that happens uh to us bodybuilders maybe once, once or, or twice two, in a career, twi- twice yeah. a year, uh, yeah. in a career, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, to to bring the the the, uh, the best condition is uh, you you always try to do that, but you know, judging on the past uh, comp- uh, uh, shows, you see like, oh, that's not that, and you know, you know how it is. But uh, yeah, there was like oh seven and 13. it's crazy that it's you're, crazy. you know, you placed like top six in oh seven, right? And then, uh, like, you placed better, like, you're third, and you won Arnold's, and you're like, you know, 07 still, because you made yeah. it, right? Yeah, yeah. And those sometimes, that, like, I always talk about, even before I won my pro card, like, there was a show, the Tournament of Champions, and I, re- like, I landed my first muscle and fitness cover after that, and met Joe Weider, and that was, like, one of the best career highlights for me. And people like, man, when you won in 06, or when you won in 09, what about those years? I mean, those are great, too, but, like, I made it. Like, sometimes when you like, realize, wow, I mean, like Albert told you, like, man, you're going to make it tonight, right? Yeah, yeah. To have yeah. that realized because I think that's, like, the biggest thing for us is, you know, you have this dream or this vision, and here you are banging it out with the best bodybuilders in the stage, you know? Yeah. And, and this is, uh, you know, if you're young and then you're kind of living your dream, this is the best life. And you're living in Vegas at this time. Yeah, and I just moved in 2010. It was just just a dream. I saw... I wasn't even afraid to to make the step, you know, like, you know, le- leave the country and go to another country and just do it, you know. So we spent a lot of money, of course, because people think it's just easy like this. You you yeah. move and uh, nothing. Uh, no, uh, at the beginning, people told me, like, yeah, yeah, Vegas is anyways uh, cheap. Like, what cheap? For free, nothing is for free. You know what I mean? <laughs> cheap compared to yeah. what? To, to, to LA, LA, LA but, maybe. But it's still not cheap. Yeah, cheap. Exactly. So <laughs> still costs money. Yeah, and, and and that was just I was straightforward. I, uh, you know, I was just pushing myself. You know, um, like like you you're still doing that. Your schedule is probably you know insane still, uh, but back then you have your whole year scheduled, right? So everything you know what to do now, and next one is this, next week is this. So, and then it worked out great. So when I came here, we moved here, and I was tra- start traveling right away every weekend for uh, BSN because they signed me. Mm-hmm. Right? And uh, yeah, that was- That was a big contract for you, and yes. you got the car at the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was it Aston Martin, Yeah, right? I, uh, they, they offered me uh, a car, and I uh, I don't just know if you knew this or not. 
he was a huge car nut. And I feel like you trained at the um, the gym that I trained. Like we would see each other in passing. Sam Hill. Yeah, Sand Hill and Flamingo. And I feel that Dennis actually, because he lived up near me. And it was a pretty far, you know, it's all the way across 95. Yeah. And he, I feel you wanted to drive your car, and that's why you trained yes. at that gym. <laughs> <laughs> Look, half an hour at least. There was half. Well, we was freeway, <laughs> so I mean, he could get the, the the thing cranking, and then you had the Mercedes after that. You know, you had that really nice. Well, with Mercedes. BSN was, was 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 crazy. I mean, they offered me that, you know, as a signing bonus. Uh, like so we uh, get an Aston. It was a DB DB nine. Yeah, I just had a Zoom, I just had a Zoom call BSN before you got here. Oh, really? they, yeah, I yeah. said somebody. Goes, I said yeah. I was filming. He was like, "You doing a podcast?" I'm like, "Dennis is coming on later." He goes, yeah. uh, "I signed him." <laughs> Who was <laughs> it? Okay. Uh, I forgot his name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, that was a great time. Like for me, it was like. Come How about on, that like, gym, though? Tell, talk a little possible. bit about the gym because that was I, I missed the place. <sighs> The Sand Hill, you mean? Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, it looks almost it looks almost like my gym right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> like ten times bigger <laughs> or twenty times bigger. Um, set up insane setup. Yeah. Um, for any type of workouts, bodybuilding, fitness, powerlifting, that was just insane. And uh, I remember coming into the um, to the gym, and everybody was sad. I was like, something happened. What's going on? You didn't read the uh, closing, the, the, yeah. the, uh, the sign? Or no, I mean, I don't read anything on the door. I just walk in. No, we're closing. Like, what? Yeah, and then um, I think uh, Ed Connors uh, wanted to buy all of that, but uh, he was too late, something like that. Yeah, they, they sold, sold all it, the yeah. equipment to Mexico. So, yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of memories in that gym. We did a lot of photo shoots there. I think we had a couple of pictures, you and I, yes. together there. It was the best time, remember? Yeah. Even the fans were lining up almost. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Sunday after Olympia, like yeah. it started, um, like for for like the top five or top three, there was a seminar, a super. What is it? Uh, not super yeah, yeah, we did our. It was at the seminar after. Seminar, yeah, I yeah. think we might have done the muscle camp there too. Yeah, it was prior before. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't pro yet at the okay. time. Yeah, and then like uh, some will, some will shoot in the morning right away, but the whole day was packed with photographers. Uh, it was awesome. like everywhere. What what's in that? Location That's where I met now. Dwayne Johnson for the first time. In, there. What's in, in that Sino? location? Yeah, he now. was filming. I don't for know. Yeah, he was filming a movie here. Yeah, he was filming for this. Um, he filmed that movie for the kids. Uh, Race of the Mountains. Yes, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah he was here. Yeah, yeah. He said he was training there, though. That's I wonder what's there. You maybe you can resurrect it. Would you still train there today? If I know you have your place, and we'll talk a little bit about the. the I would, yeah, I would. I mean, yeah, you you we, could do whatever you want. You know, I mean, yeah. nobody cared, but. It was still safe, you know. It's not like uh, you know throwing weights around, but you could do whatever. Yeah, you, you know, we uh, the gym we train at Kilo Club often. It's like thirty thousand feet. It's a big gym. I don't know if you realize because of all this extra rooms. And yeah, yeah, yeah. All the the, the uh, boxing rooms. But it has everything. That. I mean, I think yeah. like even Milos went and trained there, and he's like, I can't believe how nice the equipment is. Like it has great leg equipment. And I love it there. Yeah, I love it there. Uh, it's quiet. You know, um, I, the, I the, the difference between. Back then yeah, and yeah, now, yeah. You, you have probably the same. We we don't want to be around so many people. Uh, like for, you know, we like to go and work out. And I mean, and there's I don't a like reason being around people. Period. There's a reason <laughs> like you, you built your home gym. But so listen, you had to retire because of injuries, yeah. and unfortunately, a lot of careers. I mean, I feel like my career ended because of my bicep. You know, I that's the start for an end. Yeah, your somehow, body starts yeah. breaking down. So. Yeah. <sighs> I feel you got pushed to retirement before you hit your peak. I How think do you so feel too. About that? I think so too because that's that's the the the, uh, the feeling I will never forget. Because you were uh, on top of the world. Yeah, yeah. You remember? I mean, I was I was at the pushing, peak. Pushing, I was pushing. Like you had finally filled out. Yeah. You know, you were battling the top spots. And tell me when you first realized, like, shit, I'm uh, I'm damaged. Uh, when uh, when I got the uh, the, the results uh, from from, uh, but what was going on? Tell me uh, what was going on uh, was pretty simple, and I uh, maybe I was just unaware or not uh, paying attention what was going on. Uh, you know, we were flying around, you know, expos and all that, and I was on the uh, on the way to Germany for the FIBO. Uh, actually. Um, in Denmark first, uh, it was uh, Loaded Cup, and then the FIBO. So 
and I remember I was sitting and then I was leaning back, you know, leaning my head back and I was... On the plane? Or? Yeah, on the plane. Uh, and I was feeling such a pain, like shooting in my neck, like, damn. So it, it didn't go away, you know, even in the hotel. I was like, what is it? Maybe I, you know, it, I need something. a... Yeah, I need a massage. So so um, I did a couple of massages all the time. Like, it, it, it was going How on for three weeks. How big are you at this point? I had 300 pounds. Yeah, yeah. So it was, I was big. It was like... Look, it was after the season. Uh, you have the uh, rebound, you know. You you but you're lean as hell. Yeah, but you yeah, stayed and, lean and all big. the time. So, yeah. and I felt like for three weeks something is going on. So I was on, the, uh, on my way back. It wasn't feeling better, and I uh, went to massage therapist here. And um, after two weeks or so, it was great. But then I start feeling that uh, you know during the training, my 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 left side was not connecting. Weak weak and uh i couldn't control it so like for example if i was pulling like uh doing rows right the left side was go was going up or so i was like what the hell is this you know i mean like i'm not yeah. doing that you know so i kind of um the the the, the uh, shoulder rear shoulder and all that the nerves kind of disconnected or um you know couldn't, i couldn't feel anything so that's why probably i kind of was pulling with other muscles which were you know involved so and then yeah um i did the mri and uh when i uh, got the results and the guy you know the, the doctor told me look that's how it looked like I was like what was it though exactly um that was um the damage um between c3 c4 c5 c6 so uh, um the the the, um, the nerves were pinched with the broken off um, bone pieces. So something happened. How? how? Nobody could tell me. Uh, maybe it was an old injury, but because that's what that my doctor uh, uh, told me, because of the stability which uh, uh, the muscle provides um, around that, you know, around the neck. I, you know, I didn't feel anything until, uh, like, that's that's my opinion. Until uh, the nerve was damaged, right? So. I, I think when you start feeling that something is wrong, it's already too late. So, and I wasn't paying attention earlier. That's why it, it, it went so far. Yeah, when you think back, I repair. when you think back though, do you remember before your neck hurt on that plane? Do you remember like, damn, I felt this like a year ago or, um, or was look, it nothing? I, for some reason, um, in, the, in the last couple of years, I think in the last, Two preps, I start use. Uh, I start doing uh, um, um, dumbbell uh, uh, pullover, and I think that was the biggest, it caused an biggest issue uh, with a heavy dumbbell? damage from it uh, on, on on the neck because yeah, the pressure, exactly, yeah, the pressure is yeah. right here, and I just you know maybe I realized that just a year or two years ago what it was, but back then you just you just pushing go. through yeah. you don't i didn't feel anything like i said when i start feeling it then it was already probably yeah. too late you know and uh another doctor who did my other um surgery like uh, uh last year he told me back then um when the uh nerve is pinched it takes a year at at, at, at most after a year if it's not repaired it's done it, you, you cannot can't reverse uh, repair it, it. Can't, you can't reverse it anymore so and i think it was that time because it was already too long i know but you came back yeah i look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, not, not even it wasn't my best no. i look like shit. compared to uh, compared <laughs> to what you look I like know, so, but, but yeah. like i came back and i was i feel i wasn't you know, sweetie. I wish I had. You look like shit year. too. No, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You look probably lighter. I was lighter, but yeah. I still was in good shape. But like, you know, you go back in the gym and you're like, I don't know if you went through this, and I think we've had this discussion. And I, you think that you're like what you were. Yeah. And then you stand on a stage and you're like, fuck, I'm not there anymore, <laughs> right? Yeah. So when you say you like, did you think I'm back? As you're training, because you know you you're looking at yourself and you're like, okay, the the size is coming back. 
but you just lost the what I feel you looked good, but you just lost a lot of the density. Yeah, yeah, I look smooth. I, I look oh, sorry. It's okay. I, I look so smooth on stage and there were um no deep cuts. Yeah. Uh, but I was in shape, right? But it, it didn't look like I was in shape. And uh um I'm honest with you guys. Um, the, the 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 prep for my comeback didn't go as planned. As planned, uh, didn't go as I uh, used to. You know, so I probably uh, did less from everything. I, I where did. were you training at this point? Uh, LVAC or was LVAC? Yeah, yeah, the one yeah. on Rainbow. Since and since Decatur. the uh, since the Sand Hill uh, Sand Hill um, goals were shut down, I went straight to. Uh, and you had some great training see. partners. Shout yeah, yeah. He yeah, said hello. He yeah, said tell hello. Me, I tell me, I said hi. Yeah, I, I just texted uh, with him. Yeah, like, uh, I know. He, I know he was with you for a long time, man. Like that was the best training partner ever. And yeah. not a lot of guys hold training partners. Like I've gone through my bunch, but yeah, like, I know. He I was, was there some, all yeah. the time for your workouts, man. Yeah. Like a lot of credit. He pushed you hard, and yes, yeah. Um, honestly, that was the best training ever uh, with with Jan. Uh, yeah. It was just he was. Pushing me, of course, we were uh, uh, shit talking in Russian. Yeah, yeah. Some sometimes, you know, like <laughs> yeah, we were just yeah. people. I think people were afraid of us yeah. already. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, you 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 you're so used to that that the people don't understand you. You're Sahara, right? Yeah, yeah. No, he I, went. He was all everywhere with him. Yeah, no, yeah, no, but no, mostly I, Sahara. I used, but I used to see you in, in yeah. on LVAC and Sahara. So and then um, people kind of like, what the hell is going on? But we are so comfortable with that. And we were like, 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 you know, when we were talking at home, right? But then, some, some uh, after that, like, you know, <laughs> some, some Russian said, like, yeah, you guys were just swearing and, and all of that because you know we, we knew nobody understands that, so yeah, we kind of. You know what's funny is like you stopped tr competing and he just stopped training or something. No, right? he's still training. Oh, he's still he's training. Still training, uh, but he's like, um, he, he got his. Up and downs, like you know, he gains weight. And Does he, he go, is, come is, up to the um, to the uh, gym or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but he just came like two or three weeks b um, back to Vegas. He uh, he was in um, in Kazakhstan. Okay, that's his. Uh, wait, where is he from? Isn't that where Borat's from? Uh, who Borat? Borat, yeah. But it's, you, <laughs> know, know, you, you know, you know, Borat is like uh, <laughs> man, man. This is like I, I think people start like uh, or or. Kazakhstan before Borat, nobody knew, no, right? No, yeah. But now, but it's not Kazakhstan what he is like. Uh, Very nice. Pretending, pretending <laughs> yeah, yeah. to to show, you know. Yeah, yeah. So no, um, Jan, Jan is uh, right now. Is uh, I think he's um, back at diet again. So he's like, like I said, he's well. This uh, I saw you guys. In, I saw, in condition. Yeah, I saw you guys hiking. For hiking a while, alone, and yeah. I mean, so the afterlife of bodybuilding. I mean, you transition now. You got the wolf stand. I mean. You're training a ton of great people. I've saw, seen some of your athletes now. Thank you. Do you get satisfaction out of that? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. Um, like you live vicariously through these guys. Look, even uh, like even when, well, you know, I train with Steve. Yeah. Right. Uh, and even even when, when we train, we train like almost a year or longer together. Yeah. You know, before that, I I uh, started working with him. I, you know, I prepared him for the shows and all that. But now, classic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> you won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, basically, we, we, I mean, we're good friends, and uh, I'm still, like, uh, trying to kind of uh, do this that way, you know, just up. And, uh, so I'm kind of feeling that, you know, and I see if, if he's not pushing it out of a chest, yeah. but using his shoulders and arms, and I'm telling him that. So, you know, but good thing is he learns. He wants to learn, so and that's a good thing. But, like, uh, my... Uh, um, my my feelings like you know I always cry uh, trying to kind of feel with them right so it's the same with with athletes yeah so your <laughs> whole like tell me about like your whole uh, mindset of like are you like a volume trainer do you like you just basically train people on what your knowledge is correct so like some people like you don't go like low carbs with everybody because obviously you are a carb eater like dieting for shows depending on the output of the body type right is everyone different or of course yeah I mean. Everyone is different. Um, yeah, I, I do online coaching a lot. Um, but you do one-on-one -on -one coaching. One-on-one, on -one, yeah. One-on-one -on -one coaching is uh, you know personal training at my uh, Wolf's Den in my backyard. 
Uh, so yeah, it's guys, legit in the backyard. You know, yeah, it's an awesome I love gym, it, and you handpick like the, yeah, you're there for you your opening. But it's not only you have you walk into your garage and you have all your you have the Smith machine, I think, in there. Uh, this is a multi station, a Smith okay. machine, um, um, uh, lead pools. You can do like uh, I don't know twenty exercises on that. So yeah, I I, I picked that um, at Jum eighty. You know, um, you have a relationship uh, made in Germany. Them, yes, yeah. um, I met. Um, Met the CEO, Shimi. Hello. <laughs> uh, and thanks for the support. Um, also a, 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 a main sponsor of the Dennis Wolf Classic. So uh, I met him in 2018. And since then, um, we, we understand each other. And uh, this, this, this guy is just great. He, he um, became a CEO um, a long time ago. And since then, the, the way of uh, the company changed. So he invested in bodybuilding, in fitness industry, more than be, uh, before and uh look i mean they're on the top right now um i would say is uh, like one of the best if not the best equipment company uh, of course i know the whole team and and uh um you know they're just great you know and, i mean you um, spent time you drove from vegas out to la with them right yes when they came yeah, and yeah, got, yeah. Uh, uh, we spent a uh, spend great time um yeah the 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 part so they deliver uh to um gold's gym you know, in Venice, so probably you checked that already. Yeah, of course, yeah. Out, yeah. Uh, they have a lot of uh, Jum 80 equipment. So, so when he when he originally said it was in his backyard, I was thinking, what the hell is this going to be? When we actually showed up, I'm like, you thought oh, like uh, <laughs> I was like, you know, it's in my backyard. I was like, what the hell is he doing? I was pretty honored. I was pretty honored to come out to yeah. your. Yeah, yeah. thank you uh, yeah, again, yeah. guys. Because you uh, didn't invite a lot of people, right? No, no, just uh, close people, and uh, I mean, I did. I still keep it like a, a, as a private gym. So I do one-on-one -on -one training. I uh, rent it out for photo shoots. So if somebody is interested, post um, show photo shoots for the ladies, ladies for sure. I mean, uh, who who offers that? Yeah, you know what we need to do when it's going to be like 120? Let's no, go no, train no. there one day. So, so, yeah. so we, no, I'm we, serious. We then you jump in the pool and <laughs> back, no, back we, on the uh, We spoke about this. Press. So when are you putting up the, the roof? The, um, I'm getting the, uh, um, the quotes in. But fuck, man. But the problem so is, is our winds, bro. Our yeah, winds. Yeah, I'm, so I don't know how windy it is at your house, but oh, my shit's like a wind tunnel. Like I can't keep my hey, pool clean. Every for every three months, we are gonna fix a tree or something because the wind this year especially is insane. I think his 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 place is even higher, higher up. up. Yes, yes, yes higher so up. you're, you're yeah, really yeah, getting yeah, hit. Yeah, so that's know, why I see all all this. No, your your view though, like yeah. when you walk around the back, your view is yeah. You know who did a nice gym in his backyard? Simeon Panda. Yes, um, and he put a roof on his like yes, um, over he, his tennis court. But courts. he built a uh, golf gym with Jumadi equipment. Oh, he did. That's a um, official golf wow. gym. Yeah, in yeah, I saw yet. the yes, gold yeah, um, yeah, yeah. sign on there. That's of course a fantastic setup too, man. Um, so he does have Jim Eighty in there. I want to check yes, it out. I did Jim, hit him Jim up 80. about it, and it's all Jim Eighty. Yes, yeah, yeah. Wow. I, I love this company. Uh, of course, when I uh, went to Germany now for my show for the Dance Wolf Classic, uh, uh, May seventh. I visited, of course, a uh, few times uh, the, the headquarters of Jumeidi. And, hey, man, I can tell you, they are bringing out, like, Crazy uh, another stuff, five huh? uh, to ten uh, new equipments. Uh, it, so it's they, great. It's great. They, they there's a lot pushing, of innovation They're pushing. There. Yeah, nice. they're pushing. Great, man. And uh, I'm excited because, I mean, yeah, uh, someday I'm going to change something out in my <laughs> We'll You've transitioned out. great, though, man. Like we saw Instagram had a picture with you a shirt off recently. I know there's been some news about that. Like, right? Hey, I was surprised. Like everywhere. No, but you know, <laughs> listen. I still look like because you you lean down, but it's like, you know, someone like me. Like I was two 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 ninety whatever, and I was always like, okay, I want to slim down, but I don't want to have loose skin, and I want to. Like you were able to transition down, and you're still lean and cut, and you still carry a decent amount of size. Probably not. It took a minute for you to say, okay, I'm going from 300 pounds to this, right? Yeah. So you're comfortable enough to take your shirt off. And I think a lot of people see the positivity of you being on top, being as big as you were, and now being in the condition, you know, you're eating your great, you know, I know you're on trifecta, you're doing yeah. all your stuff with them. And That's the best. I mean, uh, they, they keep me, they keep me in shape, yeah, yeah. right? So, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's easy, it's, it's healthy, it's, uh, you know, non gmo product yeah. and uh yeah grass-fed steak that that's what i eat i mean i'm mostly fatty stuff you know steak and, and uh, uh salmon but that's what 
keeps me uh, yeah but you're staying in with condition the tra- like yes. you're able to train now not in pain right yes yeah look uh, it, it, took, it, it took a while to uh, get to this point where i am r- right now but i think that's the the the, the forcement I, I i got forced to retire and then that was a fight in my mind so in my head that was a fight that was going on like at, at least over a year or two um because like i said uh, i couldn't even take my shirt off in in, in my bathroom right so uh, why you just were hard adjusting to i, I was mean, I, I was everyone goes through that was, yeah yeah but it was for me like people look at me as so like what like happened who, right? uh, like people who don't know me well yeah do you train damn you're jacked yeah I was like no i stopped training like, you know so and uh to get used to this look even at home you just if i'm by myself looking in the mirror i was like man i was you know that you know i mean you used to kind of of course you know yeah. have this this pressure in the muscle uh tissue you know you, and when you're you training you're like yeah yeah, yeah up you blow up so <laughs> that was a main issue yeah and and i was thankfully uh, uh you know sizing down year by year so uh it, it wasn't uh happening Sudden. over the yeah. uh uh you know just short period of time luckily i will say because this is dangerous part um you know of, of uh you know sizing down you know if you if you go too hardcore you you get issues health issues because your heart is used to pump so much blood through veins uh which are not like you know normal people have their Natural, yeah. the size of you know the diameter is like maybe four times that that that, that big you know so and uh, then you know it it all has to develop it, uh, itself back so it it, it it takes time so i think time was on my side so i didn't push to kind of slim down or stay this uh, on that weight so i just let myself kind of feel good you know um um when i was figuring out um you know how many meals do i need to keep that size you know or you know if i need to slim down again you know what happens when i don't eat my four meals or five meals a day you know so over the time i figured it out so now staying at four meals um being on trt uh but not the whole time i'm just you know also cycling that you yeah, know even course, that yeah. i'm cycling you know some people say oh, I'm, I'm a whole year on the trt I'm, yeah, I'm not doing they, that I, I said i can come on off and people call yeah. me stupid when i get on no no, no I, I, i'm doing that it's like it's it's still you're still like a man right i mean you need that because we were you know we were extra in, extra extra yeah, extra and then, then doing that uh like hardcore right yeah. so and then of course you kind of have to build it back a little bit you know so yeah and i think it works out pretty good you're very right comfortable now, now about yes, how you yeah look, i feel though, right? i feel great just uh still too tired uh but also that's my issue i think i uh I go really late to bed and yeah. and and want to get up early, so I probably sleep five hours. But then middle of the day I get tired, so I, I'm gonna f- uh, yeah I need to fix that. Do you have sleep apnea? Uh, no, no. I just uh, I just I love early mornings, yeah. but I also I love to stay like by myself, sitting outside, even if it's so hot. Like you know, turn the pool light on and you see sit you jumping there. in your pool in the social media. Yeah, so. Two, two, two hours or so i'm just you know kind of chilling you know uh, let 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 the day or week pass by you know just thinking over yeah shitty things right now you know what's uh, what's happening in the in the world and uh yeah and then just time goes so fast and then like uh, i want to get up early in the morning so i don't i don't want to sleep at, uh, until i want to miss eight. everything yeah yeah so that's yeah. me you know so i i don't know but <laughs> Like you yeah, know, I, I, cap early. I, I, go, I go to bed at like midnight one, and I wake up at five thirty every morning. Yeah, I can't. Let, this morning I woke up at four forty five, and I'm like, I have to go back yeah, to he sleep. He texted me super I early. Said, I had just woke up, and he had already texted me. I'm like, damn. Like no, normally, I'm texting him. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah. So you talk about the Dennis Wolf Classic. Uh, when did you say the date was? It was seven uh, May seventh uh, okay. this year. Every, so it's a yearly event now. How many years have you been running this event? Uh, look, uh, the first, the first, yeah, yeah, the yeah, first one postponed. was uh, 2019 sold out great and uh, great because of the pandemic then we had to cancel four uh four events uh, you know so and now 
we were sold out again uh absolutely fantastic and uh, thank you guys for for you know support and uh yeah very successful um i'm bringing it uh, next year again uh, but thinking about um the show in october it's october 22nd uh, we're gonna do another show in germany uh, but it's not gonna be dennis wolf classic just not a name yeah but presented uh, by myself and of course jumeidi that's awesome you're enjoying retirement then from competitive you don't miss it at this point do you now not anymore yeah. but uh if i see the 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 athletes today that 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 makes me sad a little bit and um yeah I'm, I'm sometimes i'm bored to watch it honestly like you know um you uh, feel it's not as competitive like yeah, yeah. like you see the the toronto pro yeah it's sad right right i mean it, it's not i mean it's like what where, where yeah, are all the other guys be 40 or 50 guys in that contest. right yeah i i was in 2019 in toronto pro there was uh hadi chupan yeah 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 so what it was amazing pretty I mean, stacked uh, up Ian was there too, I think. Yeah. Yes. I, I don't know, right? Yeah. Ian Delarosa. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So and then uh, I watched that. I, it was disappointed uh, a little bit. Does it does it disappoint you to, to hear the negativity about people passing away and like trying to point fingers at like Look, what the reasons why and but why is that always with bodybuilders? I know. Why they always trying to point the, the finger on something? What you know? What what might be the cause but it's not it's not proven uh look it's, that's my opinion um there are so many sports right but nobody talk about what happened in the last two years how many soccer players died yeah, there was a lot they were in the 20s yes. and uh you know nobody's pointing anything on anything you know so right so it, it always been this way but mm -hmm. of course in the last two years it happens too much like um you know, my I think, the, I think the big name, some big names passed away. I know, but yes. you know, it's just coincidental, and we, you know, we I went through so it. We went through a pandemic, and obviously yeah. there was things, reasons, or whatever else. And yeah. I feel like, you know, the big question is, let's see what the next two years brings forward. And yeah, um, unfortunately, even uh, my my uh, good friend and um, athlete died uh, like a couple of weeks ago. I saw that. Paul yeah. Polachek, yeah. just he was young, I mean, too. thirty. Was it 37 years old he was a russian guy right no or polish, german oh, polish, polish okay yeah right. yeah um yeah we've been working together and then like uh with with yeah i'm friends with a lot of my athletes but we, we became friends and uh we, we just uh been talking about his next surgery uh because the last one didn't go well you know he, he needed a new uh, um, shoulder um Like bicep tendon uh, or no, 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 uh, no. Uh, the whole, rotator cuff? Uh, yeah, no, the, the whole thing. Um, you see the German in my head again. We'll just say it in German. Uh, <laughs> Gelenk. Gelenk. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so. You needed Germans something understand. in the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. You need a new shoulder, so. Yeah. And unfortunately then, um, it was like a week later and uh, I got a call and like. Damn, Sorry to hear that, man. Oh my yeah. God. It hit me. It hit me so bad. Uh, it was Saturday. I think it was Saturday. Yeah, he was uh, he was uh, at the show watching the show, and then he uh, uh, was was uh, at the restaurant uh, after the show, and uh, yeah, it happened. So I was uh, really still still <coughs> uh, a little bit uh, still still feeling that, and uh, I was I was shocked. So uh, I think like the whole weekend was fucked. For yeah. Me. So, and then I uh, the, the, the next morning uh, his girlfriend. Uh, Called me and uh, we, we had a conversation and uh, I just it's horrible man it's a tragedy it's it's uh, it's it's it's, it's bad. yeah it's a little scary like looking now and <clears throat> I mean I, I went through that transition phase you know stepping out in thirteen and you know by twenty sixteen I was like man could I still possibly you know I felt like I was you know remember I stepped away at I mean thirty eight I tore the bicep and I just as I turned forty I retired but it's like man you know you watch the competition you know like can I do this still yeah um but yeah, man i'm so comfortable with what i'm doing now and it sounds like you know you've been doing the same thing and like thank you yeah but hey success. bro you you look you look fantastic well, well, i mean all, you're older than me and uh you look like 40 man so yeah uh, 
And you see how I train. You know, we go in the gym and it's not like, I mean, I hate to say it. We, I, We're just I getting the pump like in, right? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. You know. You know, look, but we hey. still talk for five minutes, which but we never would have done when we're yeah. out. We see each other like, okay, I'm going to my next set at Sahara. You know, he was like always oh, like, go, 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 you know. Hey, look, first time uh, I went um, to the goals at the Lake Mead, right? So I was training at the time twice a day. So in the morning at the Sand Hill, and then I came in the afternoon to uh, another Used place, to trainer, right? Yeah. So in the, I was kind of, okay, Jay's training, and uh, he, he, he don't even... Uh, Say say hi. So uh, okay. So he's he's probably focused. So yeah, it was it was dance time sometimes. Yeah. You know, like uh, we said always hi, but not been talking to each other yeah. like right now. So um, I mean, I knew you. I mean, you're 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 the legend yeah. already. You're Mr. Olympia, but I will not like uh, bother you during your training. You know, so that's why I never came uh, and say hey Jay, what's up? You know, but then. Oh, over the years, you know, we met like uh, doing cardio, uh, post workout, you yeah. know, uh, together or so, or you know, talking some 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 stuff. Um, like, uh, yeah, it, you you became more comfortable with people, um, and and uh, you know, if you see someone as as your idol, I mean, that was you know, Jay for me and uh, for so many, <laughs> I bet as well, you millions, right? So you were you're not like. Uh, you know, you you're not acting like uh, with your best friend, or, or you know, so you you still have respect for that person. So yeah, and uh, that was always between us, or at least from my side. You know, that's why I didn't bother him in the gym. But when he was done, we we sit down and talk a little bit. That was very very cool. And uh, like I said, um, to to be close to Mr. Olympia and then uh, ask him things like that. You know, like questions. Um, it's uh it's just uh well man i used to watch your stuff and i'd be like damn okay i gotta check out see what he's doing man you know because i watch you transition and you know you run in the same circles and you know you've left a huge impact for people all over the over the world you know and the discussion comes like i said to start of this interview like who's the best german bodybuilder you know right so look the Russians see me as the best Russian. <laughs> yeah. So the Germans see me as the best German. So yeah. take it. <laughs> so uh, one thing I didn't do is the best to be the best in the world, but only in, uh, at amateur level. So I, I was I think world you champion. Would, I think, honestly, Dennis, you <laughs> would have done it. I think so too, but now if I see all what's going on, maybe, maybe I will still pushing it mm -hmm. and... I might not be healthy as course, I am now, so blessed. who knows? So, yeah. um, like, like two years after my retirement, I will not probably saying this, right? So I was still kind of missing it because mm -hmm. Olympia's here. I'm gonna watch it every year, sitting there and like, yeah, you know, like <laughs> squeeze it, breathe <laughs> out. <laughs> you know, yeah. I will sit there like that, and the next day I will, uh, yeah, I, I, I will be sore in my stomach you know <laughs> like my abs will, uh, will yeah, be yeah, sore yeah. because you're full in it you know and uh, i would uh, say to people if you don't love bodybuilding you will never be around any anything connected to this you will never show uh, 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 watch the show but we love this we did it and uh, like i said you know i'm i'm so close even watching my athletes um, doesn't matter. It's Olympia or pay per view on on my laptop. I'm, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I'm squeezing and bringing out, you know, keeping my my stomach flat, <laughs> you know. So yeah, but I'm surprised how I um, how I saw my wife, you know, uh, uh, judging because I never I never had the opportunity because I was competing yeah, you didn't and see. she was telling me exact the placing before the placings, right? So she's she's really good at the, uh, at judging. Good eye, yeah. So when I was uh, you know uh, injured, we were watching shows or sitting at the Olympia. She said like, "Oh, that and that. Look at this and this." Like I was looking at her like, "Damn, you you're better than I am." You know, see, <laughs> she's she's been like you know I was competing and she was she was in the trenches she, all yeah, the time. She, she saw all of it. She she understands well, she everything. Well, she came to the gym a lot with you. She'd be there, like sitting and yes, she waiting. And, uh, yeah, waiting. Yeah, sometimes she train will train with me. Sometimes just wait for me. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's like I think like what Carrie yeah, uh, did back yeah. back then. So it was the same. But we trained together. For but honestly, you were you guys were like uh, 
our i mean you like that you know that yeah, life what you did life. so i was uh, buying your dvds and uh, I, I was more interested of course training as well but more the interested in your lifestyle yeah. so what you do like how it is here in vegas you know what like uh you know, I, I remember you were uh, uh, shopping at Costco and, uh, and stuff. You know, it's like yeah, yeah someone. So, do you exactly. think I had an influence with the videos for you yeah. to say, "Yeah, we're going to move to Vegas"? Big time, and big time, yeah, big time. Awesome. Uh, and um, yeah, my wife chose Vegas. Um, before I, uh, I was staying at uh, Dennis James' house, yeah, uh, like two weeks in Arizona, uh, in Phoenix, before the Olympia two thousand eight, and we were already, uh, you know, thinking moving to you know Phoenix. But uh, at the end, my wife said ah, she wants to be in Las Vegas. So, and uh, like you know, you know, it, if you're always in the road and your wife is at home, you know, it's better uh, to move there where, where she is also happy. You know. What I do mean, you love most about Vegas? Is it the weather, or is it just the availability of everything and having the out? I know you're kind of doing a lot of outdoor stuff. I mean, you have the gym outside and all that. But I think yeah, uh, the climate. Yeah. Um, because it's always bright it's always sunny that's how i feel too because germany is not always no, like that right no, no. so you 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 don't know if you wake up it's it's cloudy or it's yeah. dark the whole day or it's just bright and sunny so even now like it's summer they, they have like what uh, they're in the 60s yeah. i mean this is cold <laughs> but here it's just uh there's one thing one thing weather uh and the possibility to do so much um uh, you know um back then it was it almost 24 7 right so um, stores restaurants when i moved here it was easy uh as you know if you, if you travel you mostly land like late nights or so then mm -hmm. you need to grab some food of course, of yeah, yeah. in germany okay. impossible so okay. if, if it's uh, 10 p.m <laughs> it's closed everything is just shut down so and then now um yeah in the last uh, few years i'm doing a lot of outdoor stuff hiking and that so and uh Mount Charleston is so close. You look like you're having such a great time, man. Yeah, so it's, uh, I love that. So me and Jan, we're, um, we, we're planning to do the Half Dome uh, in uh, Yosemite Park in yeah. California. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, uh, that's our... Don't, talk, don't tell him that. Half Dome? Yeah. He loves his hikes. And I go hiking all over the world. Yeah. The Half Dome, you, you know what it is. <coughs> I haven't right? been to it, no. Uh, it's uh, Yosemite Park. It's, uh, it looks like a uh, like mountain which was cut off, you know, so you have to climb. How it. long is it going to take? Oh, my God. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you probably, you have to walk to, to this uh, mountain probably uh, three, four hours and then climb up, you know, with, uh, there's a, like, I'm too heavy for that. that <laughs> you know, then come down. So, yeah. So that's your trip. I'm planning, I probably planning two days for that, you know. I want to do that hike here in town where you go up to that flag. It's like, takes like a half a day. You want to do that? Yeah. No, not half a day. Well, there and back. 12 hours. Yeah. Half a day. Half a day? Okay, 24 hours. Until you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> when do you do sleep? When do you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I just need to drop you like know what 20 it more is pounds. Or? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. We did it uh, last year, May 31st. Was that on your Instagram? Yeah, it was on Instagram. And you went swimming up there? No, no, no. Oh, it was, no, there's okay. a flag there. It's, 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 it's a flag. It's the highest uh, yeah. point in Nevada. Okay. Uh, 11,000 feet. And uh, yeah, we did it. We did it. Yeah, we did it in uh, twelve hours. That's insane. It's like and it's like but fourteen not miles round year, trip. Bro. Yeah. No, it's when too you hot do now. it. Yeah, when you do it. What attack. time of year? Uh, it was May thirty first. Okay, so, so we're not it was still snow up there. Uh, yeah. But that, I mean, you can do it in summer because Ch uh, Mount Charleston is not that hot, so it's probably like twenty degrees less than here in the city. So did you sleep there or? No, no, no. We did. Walk we did uh, six uh, hours up, six hours back. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, um, at at that uh, period of time, uh, like what is it? Yeah, May was. Uh, we wanted to do the pass, like uh, the round trip, that will take like uh, you know you, need to, you have to sleep there and you know, but there was too much snow, so impossible. So, uh, yeah. One last question I want to ask you: You came to the states to build your publicity and you felt like you needed to be here do you feel like today german bodybuilders like ers right is like the up-and-coming star of germany right now do you think these guys can still be in germany and still be as successful yes i do now uh, with social media yes i do because uh it changed uh all of it changed back then you were we had magazines we had magazines day. we had all these uh endorsements um 
and the companies needed you to be here in the United States because the sales, yeah. So I mean, uh, yeah, I was uh, I would travel for BSM because they were selling uh, products to the store. So and then people, were, you know, stores were buying it, you know that, and then you know mm -hmm. because you bought it for that amount, we're gonna send you Dennis Wolf. So it's uh, for for people who don't know what, how it was or it still is so like you know probably i mean you own a supplement yeah. company so yeah he tries to pitch me but nobody wants to <laughs> buy so so but you know these guys are sponsored by german companies right but you i mean you still work with german brands yes yeah um, I, uh, i'm um with with uh, np nutrition is a german company they started germany yes yeah um yeah look um all of that uh what we know from from back then it changed. Change, so look, yeah. a lot of people live in Dubai because they, you know, taxes. Yeah, Sergio. Taxes. Well, Sergio is there now. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, some of the body was also like a couple of German body are there. there. Um, yeah, I think right now you can be whatever, wherever you want to, uh, because you have the influence. You know, you so can, you if you touch if of a button, you're everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So you're you're posting your uh, social media stuff. Uh, it doesn't matter where where you post it mm -hmm. from from. So you can be in Germany the, the whole time or in Africa. It, it doesn't matter, you know, as, as long as you're doing well, you know. So, yeah, but Urs is, <laughs> he's uh, like, I see a deja vu when I, when I see him, you know. He remembers uh, me, you know. He's super like, guy, man. Yeah, super nice. And uh, he's... Do you think he's going to win the Mr. Olympia someday? Possible. Very, very possible, yes. But look... Classic physique is such a uh, very competitive, great co and competitive uh, um, class, right? So every year something can change. Someone new comes. Yeah, I mean, look, like um, Alex uh, Westermeyer, my athlete, he just won yeah, he Pittsburgh Pro, yeah, and, and, and it was his pro debut. So Did I mean, he get second at New York. Second in New York. I, yeah. I saw him. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, I know he was here. He was like a week before and yes yeah but proposing. i didn't uh, let him train in my backyard because it was too hot okay i didn't want him to get sunburned because you know the yeah, inflammation. he was amazing bro he yeah. looked really good i was in pittsburgh so and look i mean he he was maybe like 10 12 pounds heavier and uh like three weeks before and he looked crazy he looked insane but, but he yeah. needs to make the weight or yeah yeah yeah, yeah, the yeah, height. yeah 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 so yeah look i mean it could change every year something. I mean, even at the Olympia, it's not said that the top five is going to stay the same. Mm -hmm. It's not like back in the days, like, you know, top two, three guys are always kind of fighting for the first place, you know. But but somehow the top five and six didn't change much, right? In like in 10 years period. Like, look, I mean, in 10 years, comp uh, like straight competing at the Olympia every year, I was in the top six, right? Same guys, yeah. So, I mean, it's almost uh, every 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 year the same guys, but now it's uh, I think it's gonna change. Are you more excited for classic physique or for men, for the men's open this year for the <laughs> Olympia? You are you have some interest in the classic, right? Because yes. you're training. Yeah, that's why I'm most uh, uh, excited yeah, yeah, yeah. for the yeah. uh, <laughs> classic because I have uh, two guys competing at the Olympia this time, and uh, open. I'm excited as well. Uh, I'm excited. Does Rami comes uh, in with with? better shape or worse shape, whatever. I mean, he's got to come spot on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's why. I mean, he's, uh, who he's be, going who for number him? three. Who he's going for number three. And, uh, he's a favorite of course, but they are monsters like dinosaur. Uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Nick Walker. I call him dinosaur because he looks, well, like he's the mutant. Like, that's what they call him. And yeah, then, I mean, you got Chupin in there. You mean, you yeah, have Chupin is there. <coughs> I mean, who do you think could legitimately win? Brandon Curry could who win. Who do you think could win? You gonna put is him there, on the spot there, like that? Yeah, no, I'm not. Well, I'm not, say, not. I'm not saying predicted, but who do you think has the the capacity to win? A couple guys. Um, look, many people are not ha ha or or not uh, find not uh, or find find uh, the, the body of uh, Nick Walker not pleasant. Maybe yeah, but I mean it's bodybuilding, right? I mean. Yeah. He's huge. I mean, it's a muscle uh, contest. He is yes. ridiculously this big. This is crazy. It's 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 already like, fuck. What is this? You know. Yeah. That's why I say dinosaur. It's like fuck, <laughs> insane. Uh, I mean, he has a uh, good chances, of course, but it depends always what you bring to that the day, stage. Yeah, yeah that and day. that day. 
Uh, Rami, of course, he's the biggest guy. Um, uh, Brendan, I mean, he's always uh, close. But Brendan is uh, like, um, you know, I like his physique, fantastic, beautiful, but he's not on point. So, uh, and then that 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 where where the 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 um, all of that goes, you know, can Chupin who brings, slide in there? Yeah, of course. Who brings the best condition? You know, I mean, they're all Chupin. possibly, you know, potential winners. But I think Hadi Chupan is, uh, yeah, from all of these guys who could really bring it, right? But uh, like I said, um, if Rami comes in better than last year, you'll be uh, yeah fa- one of the favorites. Oh, yeah. I mean, because it's it's still bodybuilding. I mean, what do you think the big. reason is that so many of these guys nowadays are just not uh they're just not conditioned like they once were. Like, because you know, like you'll look now and there'll be like one or two guys, even at the Olympia level, that are really yeah. conditioned. Yeah, but it wasn't like that years ago. Why I do you think, think it's a diet? Is- it's just a diet. Like the cheat meals, like everyone cheats now. Everyone is uh, having uh, like um, refeeds and yeah, yeah, that that too. But I think all these uh, meals, they they uh, not cooking by themselves. You know, uh, you know, they they looking for meals Shortcuts. taste good or so. Maybe I don't know. But for us back then, it was just. If you want to get in shape, you, you're, like you're shit, just right? yeah. You you eat dry chicken and, and yeah. rice or no rice. I mean, I, I, you know, if you're not in a great condition, you need to do something about it. That's simple, you know. But uh, somehow they are not bringing it. So, but I don't, I don't, I, I can't tell you the the hundred uh, percent issue. But I think it's uh, it's a diet. Unless you're living with someone, it's hard to yeah, f- yeah, hard yeah. to figure exactly. out like what are they doing? Yeah, wrong? yeah. I mean, it's like Rami for years, like he was missing that, and then one year he just figured it out. Right. So yeah. was he cheating, or was it just well, I remember bad? I uh, remember when, when he was uh, at the uh, New York, when he was his first New York. Yeah, 13. Oh, I thought he looked better yeah. then. He was unbelievable. I mean, he came to the Olympia, and I remember I beat him at the Olympia, which was yeah. questionable. I mean, he finished seventh 13. or eighth, you know, yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, man. I mean, he developed his physique incredibly. Uh, but like I said, I mean, condition... It, it, it it's what counts at the yeah. end, at the sh- you know, at the day when you compete. Uh, you can be like, uh, you know, I always said I don't care who I uh, stand next to on, uh, on stage because we are all have the same goal to be better than anybody else and win the, in the, the show. But I said, hey, even even if Jay or Ronnie Coleman are next to me, I'm ready, you know. So, but I'm also ready to bring it. You know that that what uh, what what is most uh, important what what pushed me a little bit you know because I knew I can do it you know I I like condition wasn't the issue you know just uh, for myself it was uh, the issue to figure out to land on time like prejudging and finals like looking incredibly you know so but mostly it's like. Oh, you're you're too flat. Oh, you're too full. So, and uh, in, the, in the last few years, I was when I, as soon as I walked out on stage at Olympia, I was dry. I was great, but then <laughs> I almost just fucking fell. <laughs> <laughs> I leaned back in this. <laughs> but then, if the uh, comparisons were going on, I got worse, worse, worse. Yeah. So, and then I need to change something. So I start not carving up. Before the show, I start depleting. So I was depleted. The last five years, I was depleted on stage. Yeah, Nobody knows it, but I was depleted. Can you imagine that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then, only then, I stopped losing that look. You know, because as soon as I start squeezing, the carbs just kicked in, and that just was all smooth. <laughs> yeah, So, but it takes time. And, yeah. of course, you lose time, you lose money, you know, you know, uh, uh, as long as you're not figured out, you know. So, yeah, experiments all the time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, uh, you know, we appreciate you coming on, man, sharing all those with us. Absolute you know, pleasure. Really we got to do so. a Cutler Cast on the Road training at the Wolf's Den. When no, it's like not, well, I talked about doing even JTV there. Like, I'm yeah. ready. Yeah, let's do this. You know, yeah, you guys are always welcome anytime. Uh, we, we can even do... 
training in that heat and then you know you, you jump in a pool and then back <laughs> yeah yeah like back in the gym and it's probably I mean, good for the, the this is acid. this is a uh, different lifestyle <laughs> you have an ice bath at your house no you don't look, do ice baths oh no, look okay you don't know right every time even even now if i go into the pool if it's a little bit too cold i start cramping yeah so even my tongue is cramping so like yeah i need i need like uh get a hot shower or something or like um yeah i don't something. know if i would be an ice bath person i have it at fit oh, club now yeah. and i'm not like it's i know everyone's doing these ice baths now yeah. it's like super popular and they say the recovery is great but i did the cryo thing when it first came out i did it and too. i wasn't a fan of it to be honest i just don't like being uncomfortable i guess have you done the ice bath no, no i haven't done the, i've done the cryo i stood in it the whole time and the cold yeah. doesn't bother me at all though me uh it bothers me because um, I was in um, uh, uh, Cyprus, and we went to the sauna right okay. every evening, uh, and then uh, yeah, let's like, let's do that too. So I went with this guy uh, in sauna, and he was going from the sauna into the uh, uh, ocean, right? Yeah. And I tried it. I I went like un to the knees, and I was like, yeah, yeah. And and it was that's cold, it, that's right? it. Like yeah. you know, I can't, I can't even breathe. So my my everything is. Under pressure, it's all squeezed. So, and that feeling is, ooh. but yeah, uh, I was um, planning to work on that, like jump in the pool in the morning. Maybe I get used to it. Fuck no. <laughs> it was so cold right now. It's not. Yeah, you know, my pool is not heated up yet. Oh, you know, no. he needs to go in the ocean when we went to uh, Abu oh. Dhabi. We were in Abu Dhabi. We went to go in the water. And you know how when you go to the ocean, you feel, and it was. Hundred like degrees. Water. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. like it was almost like a like a jacuzzi. So it was like, like super hot out. Plus going yeah. to the hell hot is water. this? Yeah, it was like so it's warm. not refreshing to get in the water. I yeah. remember um, that year uh, when I was uh, when, when I almost drowned in the jet uh, ski. Jet ski. The water was the same. It's like yeah. it's hot, hot like hot. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I felt in the in, in the water, and I, you know, I didn't felt like uh, it's cold or something. It was like. Wow. Yeah, what happens to the, what happened to the jet ski videos? We don't see you on the jet skis this year. Uh, did you see uh, how it looked like so like me? But the problem is with the docks. Uh, oh. You know, the, you 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 they you they closed that. all of okay. it. Well, um, um, our spot is to totally dried out. You hear this? And, I mean, yeah. the bodies are coming up in Lake, Lake Mead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So What's we happening? went. We went on the water's Sunday. The so low now. It's yeah. the water supply. From the 70s and 80s. So, so we went on s uh, last Sunday to check out what, what's going on. Yeah. So, hey, and you see there's uh, one uh, 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 dock, right? There are signs. Like, if you hear, like, three hours waiting time, and then two hours waiting time, one hour waiting time. Come on. I, you know, I don't want to spend, like, half day to get my jet skis in the water. And then after two hours, you're just driving up to like Utah. Maybe, maybe I was planning maybe uh, like any other lakes. Uh, yeah, but that sucks because you would go out for the day and yeah. drive back. You know, yeah, so that's it was why. a big part of your um, your day, right? You were doing that quite a few times a year. Oh yeah, uh, like when I bought him, yeah. I I've been out like three times a week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, I mean, it's two hours and and, and you're uh, empty. You know, you, you need to fill up again. So it was perfect. Oh, so so sit and idle right now. You just you need to go to take him up to Montana. But Montana is like uh, what? <laughs> Too far. Did, wait, you drove before. up there? Didn't you drive up there not long yes, ago? Yes, I'm planning to do it again. What part? Uh, it was uh, close to Missoula. Hmm. Missoula is like what? Uh, half an hour from Missoula. It was like uh, uh, what is it? Valley. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I love it there. It took me. Uh, I keep telling hours. him I'm gonna move up there, and he's like, "You're crazy." I love it's it. Beautiful. I love it. But my wife uh, doesn't like the the, the, the cold. The, uh, I know it's not as sunny there all year, right? Oh, so no. summer is great. They just snowed there yesterday, by the way. Did it? Yeah, it happens. So it happens. Yesterday. Yeah. During. during uh, I just talked to Jeff. Even uh, even in Montana, like uh, sometimes in May, it snows. Yeah, snowed yeah. yesterday. I love it there, but my wife doesn't like the the, the cold. You know, she loves it here. We'll I do as well, but got to listen to the message. Yeah. That would be <laughs> awesome. That would be so awesome if we took you to Montana. Like, it's great, and it fucking snowed. Uh, in God, in I fucking love that. June. And <laughs> I love that. In the mid-June. You find, you find snow in Montana? See, see what I want? I want him to go, we're going to go up there and go see Dana and Rob because yeah, they live yeah. in Whitefish. Oh, I want uh, him, yeah, it's a little bit further away. I, I, I want him to come up there, and he's like, no way, I won't come up there. Like, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's Whitefish is... 
It's it's yeah, not the right time yeah. of year, right? Well, yeah, it's yeah. July. Well, once it's, it's that, July, yeah. I mean, I will go there uh, in winter. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's cold. Yeah. And, and yeah. Cold, like I've told, cold doesn't affect me at all. I can be in a t-shirt; it could be five degrees on. It does not affect me. It never has. Okay, until you so die. I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I grew, where, where I grew up in the cold, it didn't. It's never okay, bothered yeah, me. Well, we yeah. we transitioned to the. I, I would prefer to. We used to that, but but still, right? I don't know. Do you do you feel the same? I don't. We are still not used. We still not used to the heat, right? thin now, man. Well, I don't know. I mean, we we love that, but it's when it no the heat the heat it's it's a little hot in the summertime here, man. You're training outside, so it's a little different for you. But hey, at 7 p.m. Yeah, it's nice, right? It's it's great. The Vegas nights are what we live for. Yeah, yeah, Vegas nights. Yeah, I love it. Well, thanks for coming on. This man. is officially the longest it. podcast. Is it really? Yeah, we really, really. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys again, and uh, love it here, and uh, great setup. And uh, yeah, wish you guys a lot of success. And thank you for everything you do for Trifecta too. Hey, I'm proud to be a Trifecta athlete, and uh, thank you Trifecta for providing me with the best and healthiest meals. That was like an official commercial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, I did it once. So I didn't need, I do it like 10 <laughs> times. Like, ah, one more time. Ah, one more time. <laughs> All right, we're out, guys. All right. All right.